intro by Cushion Pusher. Now, who is that? Cushion Pusher. He won the Badass Battle of the Bands in the Legion of Skanks show. I, I commissioned him to do a little brand What's new. What's his name? Cushion Pusher. Cushion Pusher. Pusher. We got pens, so, I'm, so you're going to write down I, lots I of notes the whole time. Everything that we say <laughs> that will come up later. Cushion yeah. Pusher. Cushion Pusher. Well, I, I have. I, mean, I wouldn't remember that, but luckily we got these pens. Well, to, here's the deal. I like real, like real broadcasters. I made a you point as we were starting everything. the show that I I take notes during the show, and I, you know, so I don't look like an asshole because most podcasters don't take notes they just talk mm-hmm. but i have debilitating add taking notes <laughs> and sometimes you learn like a Hold new on. word let me underline that so yeah. you write down like a new word yeah. that you've learned yeah. and then you're like Shannon, tangential yeah. was last week that was a crazy word now so you write down <laughs> people yeah. go on tangents yeah, yeah. right Lewis just has 400 pieces i of call them tangentials <laughs> <laughs> Can you get what the Nick, fuck is nuance? Can you get Nick a highlighter? Can you get Nick a, a, a bright yellow highlighter just yeah, in case he has some specific things that he needs to <laughs> yeah. highlight for later? I'm being serious, Shannon. Shannon, I want you to do me a favor. Assume everything I say is serious from now on, and then ask me if I'm serious after the fact. Thank you. Are you serious? Yes. <laughs> get Nick a fucking highlighter. Uh, look, we got a great show planned today. Uh, it's the Real Ass Podcast. No Zach and Miko. As you guys know, Zach is going to be out one show per week. For the next uh, couple months, which is fine. What is he know. working on? Some fucking horseshit production thing? shit. No, 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 no. No, it's a fucking like MTV like editing gig. It's not on camera. It's yeah. not being creative. It's just some fucking horseshit. It's paying his rent, that, huh? Yeah, it's paying his rent. Yeah, which is fine. But here's the thing: if he committed himself to this that show, that piece of shit. No, no, if paying he his rent. If he committed himself to this show, this show could pay his rent. Yeah, but we see that we see the fucking. That's, we got a problem with stop with that. What do you mean? Stop. Our show does pay his rent. Yeah. And he's like, you know, going to Greece for three weeks. Listen. To three me. weeks? Yeah. That's a lot. That's a lot. I didn't realize I, it was that I long. get a week. Yeah. Three weeks is a big one. Dr. That's Patty. more than a vacation. <laughs> yeah, that's... You're moving to Greece for a period of time and then coming back eventually. Doc is pay. Um, Don't pay him on those. I wouldn't. Nah, I'm, not paying, I'm not paying Zach for the next two months for one episode. We're I'm paying Tim for the ones the he fills in on. Well, we'll see. <laughs> I, Tim. No, I have full faith that I will be getting a... I yes, great. You don't think we're gonna pay you? I know you will. I'm Shannon, kidding around. Shannon, Shannon's also my personal assistant. Do you know that? She really yeah, is. I know, I know that. Shannon, do me a favor. Make a note. Okay. Write it down. You have a pen? Just write, write pay Tim. Don't write a denomination of money and don't write when. Make sure you so get, just know <laughs> just write pay Tim so that later on you could look at it and go, what does this mean? And then throw it out. Yeah. So that I have to call Lewis no. ask him to Venmo me because my card won't work at the Arby's <laughs> on 38th Street. Tim is like – Tim is that the guy. Classy It'll Arby. be like the day before payday at Gas Digital. Oh, I was yeah. like, guys, I got to come by the studio. <laughs> <laughs> I got problems. All right? I don't want to get into it. I owe this I guy with a huge hat <laughs> yeah. for, for a roast beef sandwich. <laughs> I always ask everyone to use Facebook Pay because there's no waiting period. Oh, it's great. They're like, we'll do Venmo. I'm like, no Venmo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no Venmo. Yeah, I fucking despise Venmo. No Venmo, they Venmo. steal your soul. Dude. I fucking they... hate Venmo. Yeah, Venmo I hate stinks. when people fucking, just, oh, I'll just Venmo you. Yeah. And it's like, <laughs> it's, okay, so not pay me for three or four days while I wait for this <laughs> shitty fucking app. Well, that's the right. other thing. I used to, like with my drug dealers, I used to just be able to be like, okay, well, dude, I don't have any cash on me. Mm. Right? Sorry, I didn't go to the I didn't have time to go to the ATM. Yeah. It's such a great amazing lie when you have no money and you want drugs but you've been you've known this guy for years yeah. you've been feeding your habit for years so he's not going to not give it to you so you say yeah. let me get you next time but now these fucking drug dealers are privy to venmo facebook pay oh, you can't Google get wallet. away you can't yeah. get away from it well here's what you do the next time you have a drug dealer that asks you to venmo you money just put in the note for the cocaine i bought from you <laughs> <laughs> and then they'll never fucking ask you to do that shit again <laughs> Public transaction mm. for the cocaine that, I purchased that's the on Wednesday. I just found out you can turn off the public. Public. You, yeah. Who? I don't know what psychopaths are doing anything public. Why, Why? isn't everything private? Why? I, I pay my rent like I'm buying drugs. I put it in yeah. my palm and I shake my, my yeah, landlord's yeah, yeah, hand. Yeah. yeah. Well, you got to keep the skills. Yeah. The secret yeah, money course. and handshake. I, 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 have, I have her put the receipt on the floor and she puts her foot on it and slides <laughs> it over to me. I love when passing a bag around in a bar, and yeah. people always have to do it that cool way. That is a cool way. That's a, I mean, you could do that. Do you know, you know how to do the drug deal. Everyone here can do it, right? I mean, I've, I've done a lot. Here, of here. Yeah. you got to take the money. Hold on. 
Let's but can you imagine being a bartender and like giving a shit that fucking <laughs> yeah, yeah. people are doing like a right. gram of cocaine yeah. in your bar? Like you're I not doing kicked. cocaine in this East Village bar at <laughs> Tuesday night. <laughs> yeah, well, that got, wouldn't be why you're yeah, here. Right. I got I'm going to call out. the police. <laughs> the boys over at the Dragnet they recruited me to fucking <laughs> cut down on these gram doers. Yeah, the uh, I got kicked out of a bar in Gramercy years ago. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I wasn't doing coke. But that's because they were looking for a reason to kick yeah, you out. Yeah, they saw me going. They were like, we're going right. to find something. It's like when the cops pull you over, it's like, we'll find something wrong with this yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, you know? No, but it looked like I was doing coke because what I did was I sat on, <laughs> I sat on the toilet. You I were the burying again. your nose in some woman's ass. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know her. <laughs> Is there coke in there? Is that guy doing coke? <laughs> he's no, go. he's a sex criminal. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, no, it's just assault. Let him yeah, stay. Yeah, yeah. Let him stay. I <laughs> sat on the toilet to roll a blunt. Yeah, but facing the other way, like with my legs, like uh, so like rhythm nation, a different illegal. That drug. is, yes. I've never seen that. Yeah, that's yeah. crazy. So it looked like I was straddling it, like Janet Jackson in the rhythm nation video. Right. Yeah, yeah. And I was rolling a blunt on the top, but right. from the outside, it's just mm-hmm. my feet facing the opposite right. direction. Right. Like it's, like, like it's a cool way to sit if you're like an old black guy teaching the young kids how to shit. <laughs> <laughs> she goes into the urban high school. <laughs> He's like, y'all kids don't understand. We used to shit different. Shit used to mean something. You're like, Kangle hat on. <laughs> uh, you do it, you'd be the drug dealer. Yeah. It's a, the shittiest 20 bag I've ever seen. And then this is it. We already get on camera, though. Okay, so this is the move right here on camera. If you guys aren't subscribed to the video, go to guestdigitalnetwork.com. You palm the 20 like that, okay? So this is it. And also, I knew sleight of hand magic when I was a kid. Mm-hmm. This kind of came natural. Before I was buying drugs, yeah. I was like, oh, really? I just got a palm? Yes. I, gotta, I gotta do a palm How much switch? worse would it have been if they caught you doing magic in that toilet stall <laughs> by yourself? And they're like, no, it's card tricks. And they're like, send him to the pedophile jail. <laughs> I'm just going to accept that you knew sleight of hand magic. I don't believe you, but I'm going to accept that. Me? Yeah. Timmy. Uh, you knew sleight of hand yeah. magic. You you were, yeah, I'm watching. You're watching? I'm watching the pen top. Watch. That's not bad. I got to be honest with you. That's not bad. Yeah, it was pretty decent. You That's dropped it in your lap? No. Uh, Get out. What Get happened? out right now. No, wait, tell wait, you you drop it there you go. It's called oh. the French drop. It, it's, yeah. um, Dude, fuck French people. And I brought this up before, yeah. but everything that – they have to attach French to everything that is slightly related to them. No yeah. other country does that French with their inventions. French parenting, French fries, French, French fries, drop. French press, French, French onion corn. Soup. No other country is that fucking I'm egotistical I like everything they're doing, though. I, well, I'm fine. with you. They're they're think cunts. about all the other shit that's been invented by other countries and they don't feel the need to – Stamp their fucking yeah. brand on it. They, you know, it's, France reminds me of John Jones. It's like, yeah, all right, they are the best. They're doing. They are the, the like George Foreman. Great, um, but they're cunts. You know, I, I'm not rooting for them. You know, I want to see them. I want to see them go down in the next world war. Yeah. Oh, they will. Yeah, because they're cocky. They, they go down wanna. in every world war. Yeah. yeah That's what, they, they take. It's the not fall. a world war <laughs> unless the French get raped by the Germans. That's yeah. what Makes it a world first. War. <laughs> they're the first. Yeah. Accused, yeah. They're the um, first victim. Uh-huh. But yeah, I got kicked out of his bar. They came in. They thought I was doing blow. Yeah, and I had to like my argument was that I was just rolling a blunt. They were like, "That doesn't matter. You still have to go." Yeah, yeah. yeah. What bar? It was on like twenty fourth. It was right around the corner from the. Not New even Comedy a warning. Club. They just kicked you out. Well, they knew you You're weren't right. spending money there anyway. They thought yeah. no. They thought I was doing coke. I mean, right. I, they're not really into it. I think. Gotcha. I, can they get in a lot of trouble if there's like somebody yeah. doing coke? You're at the, the Hard Rock Cafe. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a cool yeah. place. They, they kicked me out of this bar. Yeah, it was Dave a, and Buster's. It was a Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing, but... Uh, I don't know. Is that the problem? I was yeah. at the video poker machine. I was doing, <laughs> doing a line off normal. the munch machine. Yeah, yeah. 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 My kid was feeding his tickets into it. I'm yeah. sorry. I thought it was hilarious to line up a line of Coke while he fed tickets into it and <laughs> yeah, let right. the tickets feed it it's into my nose. It's called Planet Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> you think they we weren't allowed to do cocaine there? Is this Planet Utah? Uh, uh, excuse me. Here. No rules. Just right. You, that's your policy. Not mine. Uh. You know, we are getting more PC. Period. It's just going up. You know what I'm saying? We are getting, like, I, it, I know we'll, we'll swing back a little bit the other way. And yeah. The comics that but are doing it. But we're not really. As a culture, it's it's I feel guys like, like us are getting criticized where normally we wouldn't. In 1998, we could do this show. And in fact, it wouldn't be successful because you could watch Mad TV if you wanted to see rape jokes. You wouldn't yeah. have to listen to a podcast. Yeah. And it's just, I, I have never really faced any kind of consequences for any of the shit that I've said or done. Yeah. And it, a lot of it's been pretty fucking offensive to yeah. the extent where it's like, yeah, I guess this is ironic or I'm, I'm just saying it because I know it's bad and it makes me laugh to say things that are fucking bad. I can't explain or defend it. 
just no, funny. No, zero that's, zero yeah. consequence. Well, there's no defending people it. People yell well, at me, yeah. and then it just gets more people to pay attention to the shit that I'm yeah, doing. Yeah, exactly. Because so the people that like what you do go, like, oh, cool, he's offending somebody. Yeah. Those are always the biggest shows. When you have yeah. a fight or somebody arguing, somebody's mad about something that you do. When they yeah. have the, the special elections for, like, the vacancies, who's that guy in Montana that, like, Fucking body slam that reporter. Oh, I forget his name. Yeah, he did, it, he did it the day before the election. Everyone's like, oh, he's done. He, he won. Just won. Just he won. immediately wins because they like the idea of some fucking BuzzFeed weenie yeah. getting dumped on his head. Oh, yeah. Trump is, again, who's this like guy? A, I, I would love this guy. Trump yeah. has a 43% approval rating. It's like, how bad is the other side yeah. Yeah. that he's got for? Like, that should be like the Democratic Party right now yeah. should be killing each other. Like, Nancy Pelosi, there should be a crazy purge of anybody in a leadership position that 43% of the country is like, oh, I'm going to throw my hat in with him. Yeah. <laughs> I still think, I, st- I mean, that just shows you how yeah. people are well, just sick all, of that, it. Like, yeah, they're all just hung up on this Russia collusion bullshit, which is like, for the most part, conspiracy theory. Yeah. It's not worth, like, at least all the attention that it's fucking getting. Yeah. I, I think it, that we, it, we're in collusion with everybody behind closed doors now. Sure, everybody tries uh, to fuck with everybody's elections. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I just, what do you want to say here? It's like, do you not, I do, will say do you like, not think that yeah. every country that ha- that's worth shit yeah. has a bunch of fucking spies and internet experts that everybody's fucking hacking everybody's Trump, shit? Trump doesn't really know what to do. Like, he's, when Trump was on the offensive in the campaign, he was great. Of course. But now that he's on the defensive... He doesn't really know. Like, he's doing things that are irrational, and, well, you know, the other and thing he's is, playing into their It almost reminds me of yeah. Rose Battle, and I, it's so stupid right. I only talk about the things I know. Right. But it's the reason why people don't even realize half the reason that guys, guys love Rose Battle. I really believe this because it is almost, it's so rare in society. It's almost never on TV, right? But it's so rare that you get to watch a man call a girl a fat cunt. And have a room of people cheer and laugh and applaud for it. Mm-hmm. It doesn't happen anymore. Right. So what happens is all of these young 18 uh, to fucking good old days. 26 year old guys are going like, holy shit. I love the like you on the Tonight Show and Fallon going, what do you attribute the success of Rose Battle to? And Lewis goes, well, let me tell you, Jimmy, it's so rare that a guy can call a woman a fat cunt and have a room full of people applaud. Yeah. Jimmy's like, you yeah, know, of course. That's- I, but I'm not crazy about that. I feel like that's an absolute true thing. Yeah. People want carnage. They want not just corners, though. They want a type of corners that they're they're not seeing too often. It's rare. It feels special, right? So when they watch, like, like literally, to be like, yeah, dude, that, this fucking girl's a fat whore, right? She got a big pussy and she fucks all black guys. Everyone's like, whoa, we don't, and that's on Comedy Central. Yeah. Like literally, they'll do it on Comedy Central, and it's right. the only thing that's like that right now. Yeah. So even people that don't even fucking, because it is a little bit cheesy the format, you know. Uh, you know, there are people that do it unbelievable, but I think the average person does it a little hacky and a little cheesy. Um, but I think that just something about that, you know, it's so rare. I think it's why Legion of Skanks is successful. I think it's why I did well in YKWD. I was calling Kelly Fasuka a fat cunt, mm-hmm. you know, every week. Right. And then she, she had to leave the country. She literally know? left in tears. She had to leave yeah. America. Yeah. I was right. Now she's in Australia being called a fat cunt. Yeah, so yeah. it didn't really. But that's just how you greet people in Australia. Right. Yeah. Hey, you food coon. Yeah, right. The 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 that's right. Wow. <laughs> that was what I was saying. That's so far off. Uh, was uh, Australian. Yeah, my problem is I'm that's not, not that's a guy who doesn't know how to read. <laughs> right. That's not an accent. Right, right, right. You food coot. <laughs> but uh, let me see. Uh, all right, mate. Uh, you fat cunt. Hey, you guy. Hey, you fat uh, cunt. She's a fat cunt. You fat cunt. Hi, oh, it's Australia's best comedian, Kelly Festuca. <laughs> <laughs> Australia's top comic. Fit cunt. And then it's, it's the Australian for comedy. <laughs> and then a foster skin. Uh, uh, Kelly. Kelly Fetstuka. Kelly, baby. I loved it. But I think there is something about that where we just don't get to see it. It's the same thing with like the, the racial stuff. All that all that on Rose Battle, it's all of the most heinous shit you could think of, right? It's all the, mm. the, the fans of these podcasts, right? It's that type of humor. It's just really fucked up. You're looking for dark, cutting shit, right? Yeah. yeah. Parent, people's parents being dead, whatever. Yeah. And you just don't get to hear it, man. And it's it's almost like refreshing in comedy now. And it's, honestly, it's great comedy because that's kind of the, the – all the shit like Louis C.K. and Bill Burr and fucking Dave Chappelle, all those guys that everybody loves and say are the best in the world, that's their foundation is real deal, ballsy, no-holds-barred comedy. Yeah. And that's how they became great. So you're right when you say there's not – or I'm sorry, you, you're saying it's – you're, you're – you're, I think that it's, it's cyclical, though. I mean, if you look at the early '90s, there was the same degree. Wait, of, black comics, sickle cell. Uh, yeah, it's sickle cell. Yeah, I mean, it's, I, it's that's what makes it funny. Little, you think little so? Sickle cell. Okay. No, nah, I mean there was the same degree of like 
you know, quote unquote censorship or like pushback against, you know, like uh, offensive comedy. Yeah. And then it sort of died out towards the end of the 90s. And then things got a lot more offensive and edgy. And then, I don't know, it reached like sort of a boiling point in the mid knots where people were tired of it. And there was like a pushback. And mm. then now we're at the end of that where I feel like it peaked in 2014 with like, Rape is Tosh. not funny in any yeah, situation. Right. It's never funny. Um, except when it is. Yeah, of course, right. they always have to say, oh, well, you know, there's certain examples where it is okay if it's someone that I know I don't have the power to take down at yeah, this point. I think the difference is, like, more people today call themselves a comedian. Like, when Tipper Gore was yelling about satanic rock music or whatever the mm. hell she was mad about, she was never like, I, too, am a musician. Yeah. So right. I know the best way. Yeah. Like, there is this weird thing now where it's like people have kind of, like, come into the tent and they're, they're like, I'm a comic. And yeah. it's like, you're really not. You're well, really the other not problem, though, because on any level a comedian. But people are stupid just in general, right? People don't know the difference between fucking you or fucking some SJW or percent right? yeah. So what happens is, you know, Tipper Gore back in the day – when she would go like, oh, yeah, this is satanic music. We need to put a label on every album, blah, 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 blah. People, young people went, oh, yeah, fuck that. That that label became cool. You had that right. parental advisory label. Yeah. You wanted that. Yeah. People put it over their fucking mouths, hack, hacks for years and fucking, yeah. you know, headshots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, that was like the fucking thing, right? Um, but now, because it's a, half the population of young people are going, no, that's not cool, man. Yeah. It's, it's we love Tipper Gore. Yeah. <laughs> He'd be like all the young people being like, Tipper. He's That's like, yeah. crazy. She though. does a festival in San Francisco. And yes. Everybody's, yeah. Well, that yes. is kind of like, I mean, the, the alt right stuff and like, you know, younger people that come out of like Chan culture and that are alt right, there is like a subversiveness to it. And that's the appeal. Yeah. Is that, you know, a lot of them. You could say, yeah, they are white nationalists, but I'm sure the path for a lot of those people to get there was like, ha, 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 it's funny to put the N-word in YouTube comments. Yeah. It was just Opie and Anthony subreddit. That's kind of it. <laughs> it was started dude. from there, yeah. and then it became a fucking movement. It really is. Kind it's, of, yeah, it's people it is. That, that, that are deliberately trying to be offensive, to be subversive, that yeah. they get told, you can't do that, you can't do like, that, you can't you do fine, that. Fuck you, fine, I'm racist, fuckface. Yeah. Fine. Cool, I'm racist. Get yeah. out of my face, you dumb but chick. That, that yeah. is the problem. Yeah. That like they that is an issue. Sure. That is they shouldn't yeah. be Shannon, racist. Pull that clip. Fine, I'm racist. Get out of my face, you dumb chink. That's in the new intro. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> real ass dude of the week yeah. of the year. Um, yeah, and it's it's like that's what like the woke crew doesn't really get is that there's nothing subversive about trying to tell people what they can or cannot say. Yeah, and what it, to it'll believe. it'll never be that way. Right. Yeah. No matter how many times you fucking get your BuzzFeed friends to write an article about. You know, uh, like, oh, check out this woke web series that tells people that they're bad. You know, it's right. never it's never going to come off. And it's always like, delivered with, like, such snark. Yeah. Like, the idea that, like, we possess all the absolute truth in the universe. Yeah. And how lucky you are. Like, there's some comics <laughs> that do this now. Like, a comic gets on stage, and the attitude of the comic is like, aren't you guys lucky I'm here yeah. so I can share my wisdom with you? Of and it's course. like nothing feels yeah. less relevant like all this, than that. All this bullshit liberal, like, hashtag the resistance nonsense. It's yeah. like, that's, the like, resi it's These guys fucking are working at Goldman Sachs, and they're hashtagging the resistance. They're living yeah, yeah. in, like, $10,000 a month bunch, condos in yeah, Chelsea. It's a bunch of fucking millionaire Democrats yeah. that, like, want to – like, literally, it's, the, yeah. it's calling him Trump yeah. is the problem. Yeah. Right. Is, is During the election, people said – everyone was sharing that, make Donald Trump again bullshit, yeah. which I think John Oliver is funny, and I thought that segment was funny, but the underlying idea that you can stop this guy, I mean, Michael Moore just said that. He's like, you know, the way we're really going to get him is, he, you know, he can't take a joke, so it's the job of the comics to keep making Ugh. fun of him. It's like, they've been doing that. The yeah. entire They did it the entire worse. fucking then election. He then he you won. fucking idiot. He yeah. won. Remember that he won after every <laughs> celebrity came out and yeah. said, don't do that. It's like a crazy, yeah. it's like eating pie yeah. every day, and no. then somebody going, no, you want to lose weight? The only guy More that was pie. right was Norm MacDonald. Norm MacDonald was like, yeah, back in the 30s, everyone thought Hitler was, like, hilarious. They made cartoons right. about him. They made a big <laughs> joke. Right. So there goes your theory about the power of comedy. Yeah. <laughs> it's right out the window. Yeah. Shannon, uh, real quick, I wanted to uh, I wanted to switch topics for just a second because uh, I wanted to talk about this yesterday. Um, just pull up. I, I put on my Instagram uh, some of the footage from Panorama yesterday. I had, I had yeah. such a fun you time. You had a good time. <laughs> I had a really good time. Have you guys done, ever done any of these, like, big music festivals? I'm not – I don't give a shit about that type of stuff. I went just for Nine Inch Nails. I've, I've, I've performed at Fun, Fun, Fun Fest a couple of times, and that would, like, occur in the same area as the music. So that's the extent of my exposure to 
music festivals. Yeah. I did South by Southwest, but it's so spread. It out. takes over the whole fucking city, so you can just go to your venue and then. Yeah, this is a fucking shit. field in, yeah. on. Uh, I went Island. to the Lilith Fair at Jones Beach uh, with my father when did I was you? younger. No. <laughs> I did. I no. saw Joan Osborne, the Cranberries, uh, Tracy Chapman, and Sarah me? McLaughlin. Yeah, they're legendary. Yeah. These were legendary acts. You went to Lilith? No, you <laughs> yeah, didn't. yes, he did. Tim Sarah Gitt. McLaughlin's a legend. Doggy. She's a legend. Doggy. You know where she's not? You're getting defensive. In an apartment <laughs> right now on a fucking podcasting. She's a legend. What that defensive is getting Tracy that I'm Chapman? Fucking, that I... Tracy Chapman? Yeah, Lewis doesn't like her because he supports dog fighting. <laughs> <laughs> she's ruining his side My business. dad, took, my dad took me to that. Chew each other to death. And then he let Did me, your dad, how old were you? He, I was like, I think 11. He let me blow a guy in the back of Jones <laughs> Beach Amphitheater. That was like, he's that's, like. That's what they call the merch table. There's <laughs> <Lewis. laughs> a guy's yeah. dick coming my, out of a hole. My dad just put it the quote sign up. He's like, go and buy a CD. <laughs> go and buy a CD for 15 minutes and then wipe your mouth and Did, then come back. Did your dad know you? were gay at that time? I mean, you gotta have a, a little inkling. Dude, yeah. You gotta have fathers, a little inkling. Fathers know. That's what he called you. His, his little inkling. Fathers know as soon as they bust the nut. I mean, yeah. dad. Well, my ass kind of oh, hurt that on was that a one. Short one. My yeah, dad's yeah. like, this wasn't a good Ooh, one. Right. That was that one felt weak. Uh -huh, yeah. It's like, it, you know when you you know when you it come and you lose pretty, the rhythm right before you come? Yeah. yeah. If that if you come into a chick and make that, that's the baby, mm -hmm. that's what gay babies are. Yeah. They're the weak off rhythm nut. Yeah. That's how you make a gay. Yeah. So well, maybe I should just say gay. Maybe any type of imperfection. Yeah. Right. So, like, if you have a Down big like syndrome, six finger, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. it's because you would Puerto Rican. Anything that's not what you'd want. Yeah. yeah. Off rhythm nut. That's gonna make a fucked right. up baby. Yeah, yeah. That's actually a real theory. I wonder if they test. But I that's my music festival. Tested. Um, my son is a really good artist. I've been talking about it a lot and showing his artworks on. Uh, well, I mean, I'm not trying to. Were you a kid that yeah. drew? You seem like you drew. I was very good. Yeah. Up until I was about six. Yeah. And then I fell off. Right. I'm the same way. Well, there's only so many photos of your mother dying of an overdose <laughs> you can bring into school yeah. before they say. They take away the crayons. They're yeah. Like, nah, we're going to How did you learn how to read? We get yeah. it. Yeah. Um, how do you know he's a good artist at this age? Because I compare it to the other shit works of a four-year-old. Pull up an average four-year-old's art. See, this is an interesting world. I yeah, it's just boogers. <laughs> the, boogers the, the way a four-year-old draws a person is like a circle with sticks coming off. Right. Yes. If, they, if they have an understanding yeah. of like limbs, that's like they're, 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 they're like Pull up my son Spider-Man on Instagram as well, Shannon. Uh, I, here's the thing. I think the real test: if you can teach a kid to draw a swastika and he can nail it, yeah, that's a, a four-year-old. If a four-year-old can draw a swastika. That's that. And I'm not trying to yes. teach him to be racist, but I'm no. trying to teach him. Uh, I didn't know how to draw. I didn't yeah. know how to draw a swastika until my freshman year of high school. You would really? think that I would learned it much earlier than that, but no, I would always struggle. I didn't know about the inner. In fact, you know what? A black friend, yeah. I watched him draw it with the interlocking S's, and I was like, "Wow, that's so much easier than doing the individual." I would like imagine a oh, window. Oh, you would fucking! Oh my god, because you were drawing it like. Yeah, the proportions were all fucked up. I never knew about. <laughs> and then so Nick was trying to draw a swastika like w without ever lifting up the pen. Like you know those like uh, some of those like word or those no, uh, those here. mind games where they're like draw. You I'll know. show you. I give. You, I would do it. I would do it like like this. I wouldn't. You know. I oh, would do, yeah, that's horrible. I would do the individual you ones, and right. then yeah, and then you were I'd, doing individual spokes. Individual spokes. I yeah. didn't know that you could do it that way. You don't yeah. get anything. You don't get anywhere in life doing mm -hmm. individual spokes yeah. on a swastika. That's like when you draw the box. Nobody, you got to draw a box, a box, and then connect the boxes. Yeah, Nobody's yeah. like fucking drawing it like they're fucking seeing it. Well, after yeah. Trump won, there was like some admitted hoaxes where like people would be like, "Look at all these hate crimes that are happening," and then like. Some of these like alt right guys actually had a good point. They're like, "Oh, these swastikas are horrible. Like <laughs> yeah. nobody yeah. drawing these yeah. has any clue. Yeah. Like yeah, that's aren't clearly dangerous. your I've, first swastika. Fake, the only fake hate crimes are so funny. Remember when there was like <laughs> that white some like there was like a white church that was vandalized and somebody spray painted blacks rule right. <laughs> 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 yeah, like, Blacks rule. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Blacks are up, dude. Yeah. Blacks uh, up, whites down. This is the average four-year-old right here. Look at this shit. It's not good. Look at this garbage right here, dude. Look at yeah. this. Garbage, garbage. Now pull up James the Spider-Man. It's just a swastika. <laughs> okay, that's also that's <laughs> also bad. James. That's not bad. Are you crazy, dude? I'll tell you right now. It's terrifying 
And if my four-year-old drew that, I would be concerned. Yeah. Because well, it does look... It looks it pretty is, goddamn good for... I mean, look, he's yeah, wearing Shannon, a dress. Shannon, can you tweet this that at Child my dad, Protective Services, yeah. please? Thank my dad you. tried to make his own chain mail before the Nine Inch Nails concert. <laughs> <laughs> and wound up bleeding all over the apartment. <laughs> I mean, it's good, but it's scary. Yeah, it's okay, because he, you know it has the eyes, Tim. He got the eyes. And Spider-Man's supposed him. to be... Yeah. Spider-Man's supposed to be a little scary. Right. right here's, my, here's actually my problem when you watch the Spider-Man movie. Yeah. Is he's a little bitch. He's like a little beta fucking twat. Right. right? Spider Man, like, I think that they should reimagine him and make him like a badass. Like, he should be like, are you fucking ready to rock? Yeah. And like, come out of the darkness and fuck people up like Batman. They took Batman's personality and put it on Spider Man's. Uh... Spider Man's a twink. That's yeah, Spider Man's Spider Man's supposed to be a twink. Yeah, he's I supposed know. to be like a twink. But I don't like that. You don't like that. You better hope Mike Lawrence doesn't hear about this. I don't yeah. give a shit with Mike Lawrence. I will fist fight Mike Lawrence. Not over Spider Man. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's he might the win. thing. That's, that's the a thing. superpower. He'll chew your fucking face off. Man. Yeah, that's Mike Lawrence's secret. Yeah, he's, he's always pencil in your ear. He's always ready to murder somebody. Over I had dinner with him and his wife. We sat there for an hour. He said two things, both disturbing. <laughs> 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 Two to three things completely uh, disturbing. One of them was like, he was like looking down into the mole and he goes, Roast battle must evolve or it will perish. I'm like, well, this is lovely. And I turn around to his wife. I'm like, You getting down to the beach at all? <laughs> Fuck me, um, yeah, dude. That's the, my kid now. My my son's mother got mad at me today because I he came home and he's like, "Mama, Mama, this morning I watched Captain America," and she looks at me. She gives me that look like, "Oh, really? You watch Captain?" Like like I had him watch fucking uh, Deep Throat. Yeah, that's the exact look. Like I was having him watch fucking hardcore black porn. Um, she's like, "Really? You're gonna have him watch Captain America?" I was like, mm -hmm. "Yeah, I don't know." I I feel like from four to eight is the only appropriate age to I think they should be watching. Captain I just America. love that Hollywood's brainwashed people into thinking that comic books aren't for babies. Yes, I mean that's that's literally who should be watching Captain. This is America. exactly what I'm talking is about. A four year old that can't draw. Yeah, it's not <laughs> <laughs> not a fucking nonverbal dinner ruiner. <laughs> what is her problem? <laughs> Oh, yeah. You know, we don't ruin my dinner. I just eat. I don't care what's going on. I'll have dinner with anybody. That's yeah. like when Dave You'll have Smith, dinner with James. Everyone got that. mad at Dave Smith because he had that Nazi on the thing. Yeah. It's like, here's the thing. I might not interview a Nazi, but, like, literally, I will go to dinner <laughs> with anybody. Yeah. God hates fags. Church yeah. has a has a breakfast buffet. Yeah. I will immediately. I'll be there. I almost no feel problem. like if you're if you're in entertainment, and I think yeah. all the, you know a lot of these guys are like Gavin and the fucking that guy Christopher Cantwell. Absolutely, they're technically in entertainment. It may not be in a form of entertainment that you enjoy, yeah. but I almost feel like when the fucking lights are off and the microphones go off, it's like who gives a shit? Like yeah. just be dudes. Like what? Like why do you have to take your work home? You know? Like that's what with Anthony Cumia and. Um, John Stewart, you know, uh, do we talk? We talk about it. In, yeah, uh, yeah, but the thing with Ant, why Ant gets more of a pass than other guys? Because Ant is funny. His whole thing was always being funny. He's right. not coming from like a place of like I, I'm a journalist. I mean, yeah, like, and he's also not trying to like, rally he, the he, masses to go out. Milo and wrote about like tech or some bullshit. Right. Yeah. Like you know, Gavin was a writer. Milo was designing coming, high tech dildos before. Yeah, coming out of no, he was like a tech journalist or yeah. blogger or some shit. I mean, these people come out of. Well, like, they also find out. Oh, oh shit! I write one of these things. And then it gets a bunch of clicks, and it's right. it's, it's, the, it's the same thing. On, I, on. I think there is like merit to the criticism that like, oh, it's just comedy is a cop out for people who like, well, okay, well, what point did it become comedy? Because you're you're clearly not always going for comedy. Right. Somebody who, like Ant, where he has a comedy show and he's known for running a comedy radio show. Right. For him to say offensive things is like it gets more of a pass, as far as I'm concerned. I agree. And then he did like, a lot for comics. He gave comics right, a huge platform. Exactly yeah. too. And then, but that's more of like a, a personal thing. I, I guess. thought it was a cunty move for Stewart to not shake his hand. You're like, dude, get over. That's it. always weird when people get that entrenched in there. Yeah, who, you're like, dude, who wouldn't shake his hand? You didn't hear about this at the comedy yeah. cellar. John Stewart showed up. Anthony was at the table. John Stewart. Uh, Anthony gets up and goes to shake John Stewart's hand. He's like, I'm a fucking shaking your hand. You're a piece of shit. Like, dude. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, making it real. Yeah. You know? It's bad out there, man. People are... <laughs> I gotta be honest. Like, Pete, like, it's like... I remember Bush and Gore was, like, hilarious. Yeah. Like, that's a long, long time it ago. It was just kind of funny it was back just then. funny. Like, oh, people, you voted for Bush? What a dummy. People yeah. had the 7-Eleven uh -huh. cups. Like, you would go in. They'd be like, who are you for? 
Can you imagine that now? Like, people just dousing each other with hot coffee. Right. Like, oh, you're a Trump? Oh, okay. Boom. Like, they would never, you could people never are, get to work. People are putting cyanide tablets in the bottom of the right. Trump cups. Yeah. It's just so bad. How are more people not attempting to take his life? That's the thing that's crazy to me is, like, how are there not just regular attempts to take his life almost every day? I mean, day? there are. That's what the Secret Service is for. Yeah, now. I'm sure there are. So it happens. And, like, B, those aren't the kind of guys that get killed. Like, that's not right. who gets assassinated. Kennedy gets assassinated. It's like the guy that ended Trump slavery. Trump second yeah. term. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the guy that put us on the moon gets assassinated. Yeah. Trump yeah. handily wins a second term. Yeah. yeah. There was, uh, I'm going to send you something that I, I am banned from Facebook, so I cannot... I'm not banned from Facebook. I am. Um, I can't click on anything. I can't comment on anything. I can sign in. Doesn't that shit suck? Oh, they used to do that line. to me. Ooh, dude. But here's what. Check this out. I deactivated my account. I was like, fuck this. I went on Twitter. I was like, fuck this. I'm deactivating my account. And I deactivated it. I was like, done. Yeah. And then you can just sign in and then it reactivates your account. Yeah. yeah. You're never gone from Facebook. There's no... The way you delete your Facebook, because I did this when I, this like, is crazy. years ago, I wanted to delete my Facebook, and they did that whole process because they like data mining. They make all their money off selling your information, so they make it impossible to delete your account. So I was just uploading like the nastiest shit porn I could find. And then and they then deleted, deleted tagging it. girls I went to high school with. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> the pictures. He's like, so how like I women, got out, like sexual <laughs> assault. <laughs> yeah. How and I then, got out, harassment <laughs> and assault. <laughs> yeah. I would threaten to murder people's yeah, mothers yeah, yeah. all day. <laughs> I would just take will, a picture of my will, enemies' yeah, babies yeah. and then send it to them. They will delete work, yeah. your account quick and yeah. do that shit. Yeah, yeah. I will just post snuff films <laughs> under your Disney vacation. Mix like, I'm actually banned from the internet for nine years. Fuck that, dude. If they want to be First of all, Nazis with their content policy. Straight up. But then also hold on to all your fucking data and sell it. Then fuck you. I'll make a problem for the company if they yeah. want to hold on to that shit. Well, I think that there's probably other ways. There's got to be a way for to delete it altogether without committing Tear problems. the walls down, dude. Yeah. I, well, I, I want to delete it. And then here's the thing, right? So I, I went. I was like, wait a minute. Let me just sign in. I signed in. And it was like, you've reactivated your account. I was like, that's, that's just signing out. Yeah. All it is just signing out. Yeah, there's yeah. no there's no way that I know of other than Nick's way to get away from these people. Mm-hmm. This is fucking crazy. You're in. I, I got Bring a um, gun to the office. Let me, <laughs> right. Let me you know what we don't see anymore? You're just firing shooting. a gun at Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> Let me out. Can I leave now? Yeah. Listen to me. This is why I got... That guy's is, trying to be president. <laughs> and it's not even... Dude, I've written so much Yeah, worse. he's hiring pollsters. He's giving speeches. He's Mark Zuckerberg will never be never president. Never be president. He will ne- there is nothing presidential ne- about that man. Nothing. Really presidential about Trump. I know, but listen. No, there, but there kind of is in like a weird villainy Trump way. is at least enthralling. He Even if you know he's wrong about stuff, he's so watchable and you're in a trance. Right. Like, even that press conference where he's saying, to, I'm just like, man, you can't. Zuckerberg's a weenie. Yeah, he doesn't Zuckerberg's have any like fucking, a, an uber uh, nerd. Uh, 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 like, the, like the, the same problem that, that Rand Paul has. Right. Re- for the same reason right. Rand Paul will never be president is because he has zero fucking charisma. Looks like Fivel. Yeah. All right, this is it. This is why I got <laughs> it. have a very fivel esque yeah. Like if Fivel was a libertarian, yeah, yeah. just talked about the gold standard. <laughs> Listen, this is what I got uh, banned from. For uh, for 72 hours, we removed this post below because it does not follow the Facebook community standards. Wow! And what I had posted what was what high standards they have. Fucking white women, you sneaky bitches, convince everyone that you're a part of the diversity movement. Not even hating, bravo. So because I'm attacking white women, right? Mm. Some fucking SJW cunt went and reported this, and I'm assuming they probably have a thing where if two or three people report a comment as hate speech or as you know yeah you know whatever it is then that's that and then they could fucking ban you and i've had yeah. this happen to me a couple other times i've had it happen to me too last year i wrote i wrote and they dredged up something from a year ago that i wrote where i said when i see some of the half a fag sociology professors that raised you because it was father's day yeah of course I was like, when i see some of the half a fag sociology professors that raised you i get it Yes. It just and it, but that was a year ago. Fag. And then they dredged oh, that up. Oh, somebody like, went fucking back. Somebody found from a year ago yeah. that they were looking for something, and I got banned for like three days. It's like a seventy-two hour ban. Yeah, yeah. But it makes me really angry because what it does is we depend on it to kind of promote shit. Absolutely. You know, I, got, I, got, I literally just posted a thing yesterday. I don't depend on shit, dude. I do, but I, that's but this is why I'm saying I'm not going to. This is why I agree with you. Because I go and I post. You know, the, two days ago I posted, "Hey, me and Dave are playing a bunch of road yeah. gigs." If you know anybody that produces shows, you know, around the country, hit me up. I'm trying to co-produce shit, right? Just because, for me, I would rather just go and book shit myself instead of waiting for these fucking agents right. and clubs right. to get back to me, right? So I'm just going to book shit. Who gives yeah. a shit? I can, right. I can put 100 people in the club. Right. Who gives a fuck? Right. 
So I have a bunch of people now hitting me up and tagging people and be like, oh, yeah, I want to do it. And I can't respond to them. That's so shitty. For me, I'm going like, wait, so you, you decided that that was the joke that went too far? I have plenty of jokes, plenty of jokes that are way worse than that, way more offensive, offend more people. Um, but to have this kind of arbitrary standard, that's the thing that bugs me. If it was very clear, like, hey, you cannot mention race on Facebook, I would decide to, to go on Facebook or not. But they can't arbitrarily decide that. And also the fact that you have other people that are reporting you and able to pull your fucking content down is the thing that really fucking bugs me. Yeah, it's, it's, it's gross. So I'm done. I'm done. But here's Facebook what I need to do. Facebook is like they're overcorrecting because a lot of people blame them for like the spread of quote unquote fake news mm. in the election. And a lot of, so then Facebook as an overcorrection is now like anything from any questionable source or anything that they define in very broadly as hate speech, mm. they're trying to take off Facebook. Yeah. Well, we need to, we need to stop the Twitter is, and Google. Everybody, doing that. everybody wants to be a shitty cop. Everybody has that impulse to be a, have some sort of bullshit authority where they can take something away from somebody or right. have, have everyone bend to their will. Well, so, everyone, you're right about that, and this is why you but get... most people have lives where they're like, oh, I would be that except I have a kid or a wife or I a watch that happen with my doorman. Yeah. My doorman, oh, even, right? This is what he does. South Park nailed yeah. it. It's like, you know, the biggest troll is like, just a married guy that yeah. just does it in his yeah. fucking so free time. Yeah. I come not even home. frustrated. Yeah. It's just, why the fuck not? Yeah. Because everyone has that impulse. Yeah. You're, you're right about the authority. Because I come home the other day and my doorman, um, fuck you. Ah. You stop playing DS over there. What yeah, I got to turn my ringer off. Uh, nothing says guys. professional like that ringer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's the, <laughs> the ringer that rings music. as the sheriff is knocking on your door to evict you. <laughs> yeah. so, you hear that? No, no, immigrants yeah. love the no, default so, ringtone. They love them. <laughs> they, 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 they I love being on the bus and there's some Chinese guy with his pants pulled up to his chest. <laughs> and then you just hear, hello, Moto. <laughs> <laughs> 15 <laughs> other brown yeah. people yeah. check oh, their phones. Everybody's looking at it. Um, no, I come in the other day with my doorman, and what the fuck did I ask him? I asked him... Your doorman? My doorman from my building. Oh, my... I've been to your building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot you had a doorman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doorman wow. in my building, okay? And I, um... Which is, to be clear, it's just a guy that hangs out in the lobby. Yeah. But he's nice. It's a homeless guy who holds yeah, the door. He's Thank a you, sweet sir. guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's brother man from Martin. He take, I take the shift sometimes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's all right. No, I uh, that's come not in. a bad job, dude. They make money. Doorman make it. Yeah, Great we, job. We tipped them five hundred dollars last Christmas. Yeah, Great between five hundred dollars each, five doormen. So we, uh, I come in. That's right. I wanted him to um, hold my keys for my son's mother. I was like, hey, she's gonna be here in like fifteen minutes. I was like, is it cool if you hold my keys? And this is this is a very this is very much the culture now. He goes, he goes. Hey, man, just so you know, I'll do it, but I'm not supposed to. And then he, like, takes the keys. And it's like, either do it or don't. Right, But yeah. stop letting you know that you have authority and you could not do it, but you want to let me know yeah. that you have. Do it or fucking don't fuck face. Yeah. yeah. Some of Simple the, as that. Some of the doormen in, like these, biz, like, these big, you know, office buildings now believe they are, like, an extension of the Department of Homeland Security. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So they are, like, they seem like they stand in, like, militarized positions, and they're yeah. like, hey, excuse me! <laughs> and they could clearly see I have, like, a, a, a fucking, like, a paper pass. I'm trying to get in the jam and the fucking security thing to get through. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. they, like, two of them will, like, come over and, like, strong arm me. They're like, what's the nature of your business? I'm like, what the fuck yeah. is going on here? Yeah, like, you know they got a speech... From some fucking idiot in the NYPD who's like, you guys are the first line of defense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're coming for Goldman Sachs. <laughs> right. They're coming. You guys are... You guys right. are... It's, but if it's somebody a, it's a accidentally thing. sneaks into this casting company... <laughs> right. You know, right. and gets the role right. of, of idiot number three... <laughs> yeah, right. ...in the new Subway commercial. Yeah. People, people blame, like, like, oh, dude, since 9-11, it's gotten kind of crazy. I don't think that's true. I think it is more of that. Because it is if, more if of the authority there... type of... The, the, you get drunk with that power, and I think the average person walking around, they don't really get to feel it as much. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I used to be really buildings, shitty. Buildings don't, don't need security. I don't understand why most buildings Some of them have... do, but some of them don't. Like, a lot of them don't. A lot of them don't. There hasn't been an office shooting in years. You know, it just the, doesn't fucking the, happen. The best anymore. is the Diamond District, because they're like, they do it all themselves. They're like, oh, we just have... Steel like reinforced doors and Uzis on their desks. Yeah. Oh, but it's all it's all part of the marketing. Like for yeah. example, like you know they can raise my rent x amount of dollars because I have a doorman. Now Absolutely. their salary is figured yeah. into it. Yeah. I promise you, it's simple math. They make more money having the doorman off of the business than they do not. Nine eleven. I do think nine eleven did contribute to this because now people think their jobs are like a lot more important than they yeah. are. 
Like there's some stewardess right now or flight attendant, whatever, thinking that she might be or he might be the one to like prevent the yeah, next they terrorist should have attack. been those fucking losers on 9-11 right. <laughs> if they would have fucking got together and done anything yeah is that what mark Wahlberg said he got in trouble before he made all those military movies he, isn't it the flight attendants he would, well he did some q a where he was like i'm just saying if i was on that plane nah yeah. <laughs> 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 that Mark Wahlberg said that he personally would have stopped 9-11. <laughs> He's like, I would have I <laughs> taken the one plane, then yeah. I would have flown it into the other yeah, plane. He was coming hot off all the juice he did for Four Brothers. Yeah. yeah. He could have stopped 9 I used to be really shitty, and I remember like uh, when I first moved to New York City, 2001, 2002, like to customer service representatives, right? Really, really shitty. Like if I wanted something, I would go to Sprint, and then they, I'd have a problem with my phone or my bill or whatever. And if they didn't give me what I wanted... I would really get like aggressive, right? Like, and they're pre- like, "Are you fucking? Kidding? Give me your manager. Are you out of your mind? I'm yeah. a fucking paying customer, right?" Yeah. And that used to work every time. And they used yeah. to come and they go, "Dude, I'm so sorry. Like, here, take whatever you want." <laughs> like, I used to love that. when I worked in a call center. There was yeah. nothing I loved hearing more than "Let me speak to your supervisor," yeah. because that meant that you I'd... put him on hold and then do a fake voice. No, because it meant that I didn't have to talk to him anymore. Right. And here's the thing: me and my supervisor are friends. I've yeah. known him. I work with him every day. So he so knows you're a cunt. When I say, when I say, yeah, no problem. Boop, you go on hold. Yeah, there's some complete cunt on line yeah. three who has this problem. I already explained it to them. So here's why they're wrong. Here's why they're a fucking idiot. If you want to sweet talk, yeah, yeah. And then they come back. That's Boop. it. Yeah. But here's the thing, right? I would just scream. Screen the mortgage industry used to do that. They'd be like, let me speak to your manager. Just some 24-year-old cocaine addict who yeah, get on the yeah. phone. Be like, what's your problem? Yeah. Like, these guys are taking my house. The guy's like, what? Well, uh, my boss would hang up the phone and just be like, tell him we got disconnected. Yeah. And they would just walk out of the Drop room. Drop the call. Drop um, the call. Yeah, no, but it would work. I would scream at people until they gave me what I wanted. And for some reason, that stopped working a few years ago. I remember this was one day where I was sort of screaming at this person. And they were just like, we're going to have you removed from this store. Right. We'll have you arrested. We don't want your business. We don't want your money. They don't care. They're we don't big. give a shit. It doesn't like, matter. I, I don't know. But some, there's something about that. It doesn't work anymore. And I yeah. think because maybe the effective way to do it now is to go on social media and complain. You kind of make more noise now. I think before you were in a Sprint store and they were like, there's 30 customers. We don't want to make a scene no, in front of them. Do, what you do now is you pit companies in between each other. If you buy all your shit on Amazon, you got a problem with shipping, you contact UPS. If you uh, buy right. something on Amazon through a third-party seller, you sick Amazon on the third-party seller, or vice versa. Amazon will just give you shit for free, by the way. Uh, you don't have to time. pay for Lewis anything. Is threatening all the He's time. like, I will get EBT on you <laughs> yeah, yeah. so quickly. <laughs> you want the federal government yeah. to get in your shit? Yeah. You, um, you don't have to pay for shit from Amazon. I ordered a robe, and they didn't. Well, I mean, technically. You right. don't. Okay. You, I ordered a robe, and they didn't include the fucking thing, right? They don't know they didn't include the, the Tyler, belt. You're just, you're just buying, like, the old Puerto Rican man costume. <laughs> I ordered a robe and a box of combs, Yeah, and I you ordered, don't have to pay for any of that. It's I ordered, all included. I ordered I got, a do-rag and little two cards of Newports. dominoes, yeah, a Panama hat. Of, yeah. Some uh, cigarillos. Yeah, yeah. It's all free yeah, right. if you order the old Puerto Rican a man pack. girl <laughs> for the hood of my 1987 and, yeah. Nissan Maxima. <laughs> right, 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 right. And some corn cob slippers. <laughs> <laughs> I love those. <laughs> Very comfortable. Dude, when I went to the fucking when I went to the fucking the, the sauna with Ari or whatever, the fucking bats, like you see the old Puerto Rican dudes in those slippers. Yeah, it's yeah, huge. They love them. It's great, dude. I would when I I can't wait to give up on this part of my life and just become a fat Puerto Rican. Uh, like I'm, I'm this is my last. I'm there already. It's great. My last in shape moment of my life. Like I'm go. I'm gonna give it a few more years. I'm gonna get a couple TV shows. Just make some money. Fat Joe. Be rich. Yeah. Smoke cigars. Well, you got when you're a fat Puerto Rican, you got to do it the whole way with yeah. like the name plates. Nah, it's I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna get jacked, and then yeah. I'm once I have enough money to retire into like a warehouse out in the middle of Pennsylvania, and you know not have to do anything anymore. Yeah, go completely hairless, get rid of all my body hair, Everything, yeah, get down to like four percent body fat. Just convince the entire town that you're powder. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 They send kids to like go like fucking yeah. stand outside your house and run when you peek out the window. Yeah, just become like a jacked. The all right know. is like this guy's the whitest guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. He yeah. will lead us. Uh huh. Look yeah. like a fucking mutant that would be cool well you know what shannon speaking of which let's guess the news because there's a lot going on with the white power movement right now <laughs> it's time for another edition of guess the news i have to know more information i shouldn't have read just this headline from the headlines that i've read this man is innocent he is the victim <laughs> man these guys don't know shit there's a race war happening guys Charlottesville, 
Virginia. It's a lot of shit happening out there. I will say this. What? Worst comedy festival I ever performed at. Yeah, the Charlotte I film? lost my artist badge. Nobody checked me in. I was supposed to be on the small stage after Spencer. Yeah. There was all this fighting. They made you pay for your own hotel room. Yeah, it was horrible. There was no yeah. there was no good branding. Yeah. Nobody yeah. even knew that there was comedy. There wasn't even gift bags. They I, gave I, you a fucking... A, a statue, statue was headlining. Yeah, it's not even a comic. They didn't even tell people, we're supposed to do a live podcast in the bar. Yeah. It was some statue from YouTube. Yeah, everybody started <laughs> macing us in the middle of a podcast. Uh, not cool. Yeah. It's the, it's the JFL. Literally, I was tweeting that because I didn't know what was. I didn't know there was going to be murder. Yeah. So I started tweeting like, "Hey, I'm at the Charlottesville Festival." Like, I'm not gonna lie, the crowds <laughs> are aggressive. Yeah. I was like, "This is a little crazy." Is anyone else performing? And then, like five minutes later, all you see is like a car is plat, like twenty people injured, one dead. I'm like, "Oh." Tim Dillon's <laughs> doing his bus show, driving through Charlottesville. Yeah. So over here, you yeah. see yeah. cop yeah. cars burning, right? And and uh, over here, there's a black person swinging from a tree. Right. Now, you see this black woman sitting on what looks like this white person's corpse. This is very interesting. <laughs> Take a photo of this as it is uh, very telling. I was like, what, is there anything in Charlottesville? Is this a UVA, right? College town. Like That's one it? of those college towns. But like, Charlottesville just sucks, right? Yeah. It's just some shit. Sean that? Donnelly had the most tone-deaf status, which I thought was the funniest thing I'd ever read. What? Literally after this happened, Sean Donnelly's like, hey, man, I hope this doesn't want to... Uh, Sean Donnelly's another comic. He goes, hey, man, I hope this doesn't affect the people of Charlottesville. Anybody want to go and plan a trip to Charlottesville? <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> what? Yeah. Were you like, being serious? He was dead serious. I'm sure I'm the like, best thing they have what? there is like a P.F. Chang yeah, like, two what? years ago. Yeah, like, same. Should I yeah. put the music and pull up the uh, the well, top I guess attractions? My, my point is, if, of all the places to protest, That's why they went, the removal they were of like a PF of like a, yeah, of a Confederate <laughs> general. Like New Orleans, there's a lot of those statues. Yeah. New Orleans is a beautiful city. Yeah. You can maybe make some case that it's like, I mean, it's a bullshit point to say that those statues shouldn't be removed. You can't make the argument. Oh, that, I agree. They should be. Uh, I think they should be. I think if course, you have a Nazi yeah. statue in Germany, right, if, yeah. if it's a statue that yeah, that's represents the, That's something. why Trump was kind of wrong in his press conference because Trump was like, it was all about the statue. It's not really all about the statue. It's not a, nobody gives yeah. a fuck nobody about gives the a really statue. Fun, like, nobody on either side truly gives and a fuck about the statue. And let's say you cared about the statue and you went and then all of a sudden these guys are like waving Nazi flags and like Sieg Heiling. Like, you'd probably turn to your wife and go like, yeah. you're from some like conservative history club. You might turn to your wife and go, maybe we should get out of here. Start yeah, yeah. another sect. This, yeah. Here's the point. This seems right? a little. The fucking white, the white guys that are out there that are protesting with him and i know a few people that I, you know i consider like cool dudes that like really support that and i'm like here's the deal guys right if you're saying hey it's not all nazis out there yeah there's only some if you're willing if there's five nazis in a group of 100 people and they're with you guys you got to kick them the fuck out or go start your other your own group yeah but that guilt by association shit is tricky because like people don't fall into discrete categories like that and uh, that that is an example where i would agree with you but we get into that by being friends with Ant or you're friends with Gavin. I, I, I happen to think Gavin is... No, I'm not friends with Gavin. Yeah, I think Gavin is too far removed from no, me Gavin's ideologically. A fucking, Gavin's, a, Gavin's a fucking dickhead. Gavin stopped, Gavin stopped being a fucking cool guy a while ago. He's yeah, not, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, not, Gavin, Gavin is completely agenda-driven. Gavin's not a human being. Let's, I don't, put, let's put it this we, way. I have, a, I have a plenty of friends that are like leftists, and when Ant comes up, they're like, that guy's a fucking racist, and I have to just say, like, yeah, you're right. Sort he of, is. Yeah. He kind of is. All this criticism Right. But are, that's, that's the point is like, is that really as bad as we're, we're putting this, we're putting this stigma on being a racist when the reality is everyone has their own bigotry. The situation with the statue thing is, is that because it's Robert E. Lee, if you look at Robert E. Lee in a historical context, there is a bit of like a revisionist argument that says that Robert E. Lee was conflicted on the issue of slavery. Right. He didn't really want to be a Confederate general. He was fighting. Oh, for I thought it was Brandon Lee's he was, statue. Yeah, it was. Right. Yeah, yeah, right. Who was and, also conflicted. Right. <laughs> who killed himself because he was half Asian. He right. hated that sure, about yeah. himself. Yeah. He wanted to be fully white, and yeah. that's why he had that man shoot him. I think Lee, there's some letter to Lee's wife that he wrote, basically saying that slavery was a moral evil. Yeah, and and I think that's that where this kind of hinges around. God, yeah, yeah. But the thing is, is, is Robert E. Lee's family was like a like his his grandfather was like George Washington's like right hand man. The Lee family was like a historic family in the Virginia colony, yeah. and it, he's like a historic American. In like the Mexican American War, he was like an important figure. Right. I mean, they wanted Lee to head the Union Army at one point, um, but that's 
That has nothing to do with why that statue was erected. Right. That statue was erected as a fuck you to the north and to solidify the southern racist slave-owning identity. Of course. So it's right. not about Robert E. Lee the guy. Right. So to bring up Robert E. Lee the guy and say, well, you know, he's kind of a nuanced figure is a bullshit point. Yeah. Right. And, and, I, and, it's, 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 and if anyone's going to make that point, it's not a guy – with a fucking shield, <laughs> yeah. a face mask, and a Hitler quote mm-hmm. yeah. on his shirt, yeah. and who's who's chanting blood and soil like yeah. these Nazi chants. No, well, there are. Is, it, there, you're not in the realm of ideas anymore. I also, you're I'm, carrying a torch. I'm very consistent with my philosophy here. I say the same thing about the Black Lives Matter protesters. I go, yeah, I agree with a lot of what they say, yeah. but I'm not going to have some fucking thuggy kid with a face mask on that's smashing cop cars and throwing bricks at Walking cops. Walking around a community you shouldn't be in at night with a hoodie on. <laughs> right. No, but I'm not going to... That's not going to represent... Or fucking... Uh, Hill Lewis is like, I'm not going to have some thuggy kid with a face mask at Sprint telling me <laughs> I have to pay my bill when it's due. <laughs> but like, I will say, get me your fucking all manager. It is, it's about that. Right. It, it was always about that. 2001, it was like, I didn't pay my bill and they turned yeah. my phone off and I had to scream at them to turn my phone yeah. on. Yeah. Yeah. That's probably all of these white nationalists just have Sprint and they just walk into a Sprint yeah. store and it's just a black 19 year old being like... Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Because that's literally the response to Sprint. You'll go yeah. in, you'll be like, hey, this just doesn't work. And they'd be like, yeah, I don't know. Send it in. I'm like, no, I'm in. Um, so this hurricane is uh, is coming down in, in Florida now, I Dad. guess. I didn't even know because I see people like like moving out of the state. Now, that's crazy to me. Mm-hmm. I, I don't. There's no natural disaster yeah. that will ever make me move from my home. Right. Not well, going to happen. That's yeah. Except, except gentrification. <laughs> yeah. Except gentrification. Yeah. Except that, the, that won't take care of you. Except the white man's march <laughs> into your neighborhood. Yeah. Manifest destiny. <laughs> right. Westward expansion. <laughs> Listen to me. I'm not not for a hurricane, dude. I was I've I've been in a hurricane in Florida. I've been in a hurricane in New York City. You know, it is it's it's fine. I love this is my favorite example of like your like Puerto Rican logic where it's yeah, like right. this, you, you know? can't eat carbohydrates. <laughs> And you're saying, oh, I could survive a hurricane. I can, listen, He's like, I've done that right. shit. I've been in now, a hurricane. What happens when the only thing available is a Pop-Tart, and if you eat it, you'll immediately shit yourself oh, and dude. fuck up your cousins. I will yeah. blow up so quickly. Yeah, dude, what happens if you it's just carbs, carbs. Yeah. just grain, just grocery stores full of grain, just Uncle Ben's rice yeah. and loaves of Wonder Bread. You're hard tack for yeah, six Yeah, what months. are you going to do? do? It would be very difficult anymore. to live a keto diet. You're just carrying you are... James <laughs> and four feet of water looking for a fucking... Venison shop. If there's yeah, a right. real natural it's day disaster, one, you're like, we got to start eating people. <laughs> <laughs> like we have all this corn. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. I can't eat it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't you understand? It's I'm on a real, real ass, ass diet. diet. <laughs> you start abducting people. You become a cannibal. People are like, we have no idea what you're talking. About. Yeah. <laughs> How a there, hurricane. There's not even a food shortage. It's really just meat and eggs. Yeah. It's uh, gonna be bad, man. I, I mean, I hope no. it's not bad. But I think what's funny is like anything else in the news now. Whenever there's like a big hurt, like Hillary Clinton's got this book where she's going around like blaming Bernie yeah. Sanders, and, and it's the hurricane's <laughs> fault, and it's Bernie's <laughs> fault, and it's black people's <laughs> fault, and it's Beyonce's fault. But it's just and so it's funny. It's your fault. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and you, <are laughs> yeah. so you did it to me. I just love that they're like Hillary Clinton's got some ideas on why she lost the election. Also, everyone in Florida is going to die. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. I feel like balance once again, those two. These are all things that they do in the news. To yeah. it, the, here's what happened. I'm going to tell exactly what happened. Okay. Hurricane Harvey. Okay. That was fucking. Pff, that was big news. That was Game of Thrones fucking season finale. Big numbers. Yeah. Everyone's talking about it, okay? Mm-hmm. 50 people dying is nothing. Right. Nothing. Give me the fraction, Shannon. I know you're not good with numbers, but how many 50 people in the world? Give me the fraction of how many people in the this world is that is. This is hard for her. What do you th- I don't even know what you're F- talking Find about. out the number of people in the world, then go to a, f- a percentage calculator and type in 50 is what percentage of however many people are in the world. That'll really enrich the show. Yes. What is it? 10 billion people in the world? 7.442 billion. billion. Okay. So 7 billion. Okay. 50 out of 7.42 billion. It's nothing. Yeah. Nearly, I mean, it's, so you think they're hyping up the Florida hurricane to just compete? Yeah. Because they want to keep the ratings going. Oh, so if your you. son got murdered, that would be like <laughs> nothing, dude. That's one person out of like, seven billion. Lewis is at the funeral. He's like, statistically, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got to be honest. This is I finally huge... learned math to deal with this. <laughs> I taught myself some math to make up for not having emotions. Yeah. I drew him this picture. It's my name. <laughs> I put it on his coffin. Lewis is like, this is nothing, really, to be honest. <laughs> In the grand scheme of things, this is nothing. Well, I mean, in reality, Reality, you. I mean, look. If you disconnect yourself from the personal relationship from the people that die, yeah, yeah one person yeah. is nothing. 
Yeah, I mean, you could make that argument out of anything. There's actually like a, I think it's called the Dunbar limit or the Dunbar number. There's just like a maximum uh, amount of people you can give a shit about, you know, in your life. Yeah. That you, yeah. That you can like. What is that number? I, it's, I don't know. I think it's like 200. I, I, I'm I think pretty sure it's called the Dunbar. What makes there's no think way of, you can give a shit about 200 people. There's no way. Well, but I, I, the most empathetic people in the world can. I, so, think, I think that this is kind of fucks with your head because it's a natural disaster. It's like. Not violence. It's not disease. It's like this thing that could just come at any moment, and pe- people died. You know, one hundred and fifty. How many of them? It'd be interesting to see, like, how many of them were like lower income, like from bad area, or was it just a general? Oh, that's the only people that hurricanes fuck up. Oh, they no. really fuck up those people because you know the cops are like, all right, houses. we'll get there when we get there. Yeah. <laughs> the worst thing that happens to rich people is their in-home movie theaters yeah. destroyed. Like the Bushes you know. live in Houston. Are yeah. they okay? Dude, my right. man cave is fucked. Right. They have a hot air balloon they go up in. They leave the in their waters. boat. Like the rich people just take the boat. It's out just of fun. It. <laughs> mm. If you're really rich, isn't it just kind of fun? It's a vacation. Yeah. Like I'm talking about like fucking, you got millions of dollars. Yeah. Your, ba- your basement gets flooded. Who really gives a fuck? They don't yeah. care. Excuse to remodel. It's an annoyance. Yeah. Kind of. That's You're it. not even doing the cleaning up. Like, if I was that rich, I wouldn't do nothing. If I, when, I, when I'm rich, like really rich, like I'm talking about millions of dollars, and I'm going to be, I will have a person at my house massaging my feet every morning when I wake up. I have a cleaning lady every single fucking day that just cleans everything. I will Dude, just. I, I would want, want none of that. I, want, I will shit on my home towels like Stav does in hotels. Yeah. And I'll throw them in my cleaning lady's face. Oh, you know what I would do? Never do socks, laundry. Just new pack of socks every fucking day. I did day. that for years because I was poor. Yeah. Wait, and I just didn't just do laundry. Do I was laundry? poor and lazy, so I wouldn't do laundry. So you go to Models and get like a pack of socks for like six bucks. Yeah. So I just, I mean, dude, that's I, way more expensive than doing laundry. <sighs> yeah. That's what I would do is if get I get a fucking rich. bucket, put hot water in it, yeah. put some bleach. Well, in that's why laundry. Mullen. That's how you stay poor. <laughs> like these are the old. This is like a, a way to stay poor. <laughs> it, it, doesn't it sound? Draw your name. I would do that for years when I was trying to yeah. continue being yeah. poor. I tried to save money by throwing out my clothes every day, no. buying new clothes. It was it's like. Crazy, you know what I mean? Remember when he explained? He goes like this: "This is on a previous episode." He goes, "Yeah, I'm just gonna ask everyone I know for a dollar." And you go, "That's panhandling." <laughs> he said it like he was like in Silicon Valley. He had just come up with an app. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he said it right, like right. like he had just figured out Google. You're like, no, that's that's being a homeless person. And then you go like this: You go, it doesn't work. Yeah, it like doesn't work. <laughs> Look Sorry, up like dude. the scariest haunted house on YouTube. Like, there's I forget what it's called. We were gonna do it. It's in LA. Oh, you know these are coming. Is this haunted house sexual mm. assault? You know, she's supposed to like, oh, go yeah. out and grab no, the Norbert house, something, or something manor, some, yeah, something yeah. manor. Look it up. It's like the scariest haunted house. Pull up the trailer. It's like a four hour haunted house. You go in and you sign these waivers that let you know you can be hurt. Yeah. This is, they fucking they make yeah. they, they fuck with you a little bit. You can be hurt. You cannot sue them. You're signing all this yeah. shit. You can be touched. You're gonna have fucking yeah. bodily fluids. This is also on what you. realtors do in South Central LA with yeah. their clients. <laughs> Sign this waiver before we look. You can you be know, touched. This will be uh, scary. In lieu of an earnest money deposit, what we are allowing you to do is to sign away your right to sue us in case you get yeah. stabbed, yeah. Uh, sliced, or fucked up in any yeah. capacity while yeah. you are enjoying the establishment. Now, just think about the cash flow potential on all of these properties. You pull it up on the big screen. Here it is. Look at this. What is that? This is the haunted house. They lock you in shit and they fucking touch you and put shit in your face. Here, pull it up on the big screen. Get us a fun. This is an L.A. County jail. Somebody vomit. A two-hour tour. The toilet spraying to shit in the person's house. face. That's not like haunted. <laughs> Wait, hopefully your phone's on. Hi, everyone. I'm Sandra Machos. Welcome oh, look at this to Horror Week here on I.O. What is this? Is this like a top ten haunted houses? It's San Diego, California. Manor is not yeah. your typical. This is Joe Arapaio's jail. Ghosts, employees <laughs> are there to scare the crap out of you. You can be bound, gagged, drenched in blood, and terrorized for four to That's seven. That's my bathroom, actually. This is just yeah. Trump's new yeah. ice yeah. regulations. It's the world's most extreme. <laughs> 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 they put guests through shit, dude. Yeah. Force feeding them, riding them, shouting in their faces, shutting them in small boxes. I would fucking lose That's my kind of shit. Disturbing. Sounds like they took a page out of the movie Hostel. She's a fucking moron. Just it's some hot chick. Yeah. To scare you to death. Look at her tits, so though. Extra she described this to her friends as an acting gig. To that extent, then, hey, <laughs> She's like, yeah, I booked something. False advertising. I don't know. If she was one left turn away from being the co-host of Guys We Fucked. Does have a heart attack and dies. 
everyone will just think it's part of the show. Having said that, all guests are required to sign a waiver, and they have a health check to make sure that they can endure the stress. <laughs> Tim's out. Yeah, I'm out. They're like, we. There's a good chance you have a heart attack on the line to get in. <laughs> I would love. I would love to. <laughs> They're like, just, they're they're like, we gotta be honest. <laughs> eating a sandwich at the end is like, guys, they wouldn't let me in. I would love yeah. to go there and just pull my dick out halfway through and just <laughs> furiously start beating off while, they, <laughs> while some guy in a gimp mask shows me. And they're like, what are you doing? I'm like, what the fuck do you think I came here for? Dude, I just... You're uh, shitting in my mouth. Yeah. I'm supposed to not jack yeah. off? They're like, yeah. I'm sorry, everyone. The haunted house is canceled for the afternoon. You just look at them as... Some man yeah. did what he came here to do. Yeah. As the cops are dragging you away, you look at them, you're like, who is this for? <laughs> <laughs> this is what I do. I guess, I guess McCabe Manor should have seen this one coming. You put a in my asshole. <laughs> I'm supposed to not come? <laughs> yeah, we, had, we had to close down the child porn emporium. Because some man enjoyed it. Oh, God. That's some crazy shit. People pay like $200 and they get on a waiting list to go onto that fucking thing. Mm-hmm. I'm... I'm intrigued, but I would punch somebody in the face, dude. If they, I, I, and I mean, I'm not even being a tough guy about it. I think my reaction would be if I started freaking out and they wouldn't stop. Yeah. Because they don't stop. You, you're screaming stop. Like, there's another one. You got to see the one trailer where, like, the girl's crying. And she's going, stop. Yeah. And he's just fingering her. You know what happens? Yeah. This is just a house of rape. Like, dude, actually, I'm going to get a job this, here. Yeah, this is literally just people signing waivers saying, I consent to be assaulted. Yeah, yeah. it's crazy. That's amazed. a nutty fucking thing, though. That's another level of like extreme horror, and I think these are starting to pop up all over the country. There's a bunch of them that are like extreme horror houses. And you know, well, if you like yeah. that, I'd recommend you as getting lost in a cavern. Right. <laughs> we could do that. We book a trip to Luray Caverns yeah. for you, and then take away your map, and then. Uh, I was know, on the I was on the orienteering there. team in high school. What is that? That's so being able to... pointing out Chinese people. <laughs> <laughs> There's one. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There he oh. is. We're orienteers. <laughs> <laughs> pointing out Chinese people. Lewis's mother, yeah. she's like really proud. She's like, my son's a gook spotter. <laughs> <laughs> What's your kid do? <laughs> You can see it from a mile away. She's like showing you the methadone bottle. It's like, it's the same color as those people you like to point out. Doesn't it look like one of them? One of those those rail workers. Uh, We're so fond of observing. Orienteering is you, uh, you get a fucking compass. Okay, and they put you out in the woods, and you have to go to these different like checkpoints, and you got to find shit and like be able to navigate with like a, you know, a fucking like little map and. Kind of crazy. It was an orange. And if you can't navigate, you got to touch the guy's dick. Yeah. You got to, you know, or, you know, orienteering. <laughs> so it's not you even. Lost. You're talking about the Boy Scouts, but a fake version of that. <laughs> they drop you in the woods, you know, and you get naked because it's fun. And <laughs> they call it a word that doesn't exist. <laughs> they call it orienteering when you, you know, and somebody shows you their dick in the woods and, <laughs> and you have a compass uh, for some yeah. reason. No, it's a guy with a Panel van, a set of pliers, you know, <laughs> orienteering. No, uh, it's pretty cool. I was they, in the Naval Junior ROTC. They give your mother five hundred dollars before they take you, <laughs> and she says, "Just don't kill him." You know, orienteering. <laughs> I was in the Naval Junior ROTC, and you had to do like things involved with that. So, in order to get like you know, like um, medals and shit, like medals of honor and fucking straps, you did different things. Like, so we'd go orienteering, we'd go fucking onto a fucking boat and fucking yeah. I don't know, raise a fucking mast. <laughs> Louis, 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 yeah, yeah. Louis says the all the all seven. Seven and a half inches badge <laughs> that he earned. You go on a boat, yeah, yeah, yeah. you just jack off some guy you never saw yeah, before. Yeah. Oh, he, yeah. in a suit. <laughs> he has the all seven and a half uh, inches badge. Oh, and it has the device to indicate both balls as well. I, I just mean, realized, dude, the stripes here, that, that means just nine fucking... cores of duty. <laughs> it was just adult Boy Scouts. That's all it was. That's all it was. Yeah. That's yeah. crazy. That's what the military is. Yeah. You're just sure. training for the military when you're a Cub Scout? No, that's literally what ROTC is. Yeah. No, I know what ROTC is, but I'm saying the Boy Scouts are kind of training you for that same type of thing. Kind of, yeah. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Boy Scouts? I was a Boy Scout for a little while. Were you? No, never. You? Never. Jerk off to them? I was on a swim team. I, I had that covered. 
Yeah. No, but you did. I did multiple things. I was on. I did everything. I did everything mediocrely. Listen, you ever we seen didn't a, all have the parents. You, we get it. <laughs> you ever see the <laughs> Lifetime movie, uh, uh, Cyber Seduction: His Secret Life, about the kid who loses his swim team position by by masturbating? No, I, but now I want to see it. Yeah, it's that? it's the best Lifetime movie. Cyber yeah. Seduction: His Secret Life. It's this bullshit Christian movie about how this kid starts looking at. It's it's a, yeah. they imply it's porn, but it's Lifetime, so they can't show it's porn. So right. he's like, yeah. you know, closing the door. <laughs> <laughs> and looking at a website and it's a woman in like a sweater that's like, "How's your day?" Yeah. You know, and then he's like, "Oh," and you never see him jacking off either. He's okay, just well, I'm, I'm, I'm out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Every well, gay movie uh, like it's about is just a porn. Like a lot of these things are just porn. Like, is this cyber yeah, like, seduction? Yeah, yeah. Pull it up, Shannon. Let's see. The, the trailer. That's the trailer. Yo, Peterson, heard you made Allstate. Thanks. The best freestyle. Wow. You state. could get it. You know what you need? A little bit of Monica. <laughs> I was looking at pornography. Is that what you guys want to hear? Garbage just... What happens when you are every 15-year-old boy in America? You can't stop. Jeremy Sumter. Get the hell away from me. In a Lifetime original movie for cyber seduction. In a Lifetime original movie, I blew the director for this role. <laughs> That's a, so it's an entire lifetime movie. Kelly Lynch stars off the in morning. her last movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jeremy Sumter and we, I can't believe I'm doing this. <laughs> you know? The last stop before cleaning up after community. You know that's theater. written by like a, a Hollywood pedophile. It's like <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh yeah, so he's a hot no, guy. A Christian he's, Hollywood right. pedophile. He's yeah. like he's a hot guy and he can't stop yeah. jerking off. You know, it's so funny as people are like, Oh, the Jews control Hollywood. And it's like that is you don't understand, that is the best version of Hollywood is a Jew controlled <laughs> right. Hollywood. Right. Do you, you have any other any idea? other type of person Group to control that's represented? Yeah. Yeah. Hollywood Christians are fucking insane. Right. Yeah. You know, right. like uh, Brenda Hampton that show Seventh Heaven. That's what <laughs> Seventh that's what Heaven. that's what Christian Hollywood produces right. is a show starring a guy starring yeah. a pedophile, <laughs> <laughs> a man who rapes children yeah. as a Christian, where they deal with issues like I don't know an, uh, a twenty five year old man who lives with his family yeah. still. Smoking a single joint and being excommunicated from the family. Yeah, I yeah. mean, that's, can you imagine how shitty a Muslim Hollywood would it be? Takes a special I was, I type of so... person to grow up a fourteen-year-old <laughs> right. and then do Seventh Heaven. You yeah. know, then get on and give a, deliver uh, like an after-school special right. speech. That that, uh, that 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 would be your Christian yeah. Hollywood. I would jerk off. I mean, so much. It got so. When I was that age, like, and it was, and I was like, I mean, when, this, was this movie about, like, you know, turn, turn of the century, you know, 98, 99, when porn was fucking, like, is that when this is about? Uh, yeah, probably. Okay. All Lifetime movies were shot in the late 90s. Okay, good. <laughs> well, no, because, the, look, I, yeah. mean, I, 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 I mean, I got so careless with it. I used so to just... a woman grabbing a payphone while she was getting clubbed, you know? <laughs> yeah. I was like, what? I used yeah, to it, jerk well, off onto my, um, I had a, of... a fucking, um, a robe yeah. that I would clean up my cum with, and I also, my... In high school, I had uh, a lot of like black lights and fucking like lava lamps and yeah. stars on my fucking. Uh, I really wanted to be like a, what, a manager at a cosmic <laughs> bowling facility. <laughs> that was my dream: is to work at <laughs> four like like bowling like ten pins <laughs> on 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 future night. <laughs> <laughs> I would put on Prodigy and, and look at my my teeth in the mirror and my black and light. mother's like, good night, I love you. You're going to be the best bowling alley manager that West Haverstraw has ever seen. Is my mom an Italian woman, an old Italian lady? Um, yeah, dude, I fucking, uh, but I would jerk off. I mean, I, I remember looking up at my, my robe just, and the cum would just fucking, like, every roll of it, like, it was, like, splattered like it was, like, a fucking yeah, yeah. painting. Well, there's actually, there's a, a misconception with Lifetime movies that the theme is always, like, a woman that's being abused or whatever, which does happen Sometimes in some of them. Sometimes a kid abusing his dick. No, mostly what it is is a strong woman character that's not being believed. Right. That's what it has okay. to, uh, like, revolve yeah. around is that she's right about something, yeah. and no one really agrees with her this, until they This kid suffering around. abuse at home. Yeah, yeah. No, he's not. No. Oh, meddling yeah, whore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's always that kind of shit. Dude, Lifetime movies are the best form of entertainment. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're so good. I used I, the to only one just... I remember, I mean, I remember the one, the I, steroids one was a famous one. I, I used to just do nothing. You watched that one in school. I would get high and watch Lifetime movies and Degrassi The Next Generation. Yeah. And that was like the only form of entertainment I would consume. Yeah. Degrassi The Next Generation has got to be like the best TV show of all time. Yeah, Degrassi was Degrassi, the, uh, the Canadian I, I to, high school I would, show. I check in on that. Yeah. My, yeah. Sis, my stepsister just watched it when I was a teenager, and I remember only seeing 
one scene one time where there's a girl that like used to cut, but she quit cutting. Yeah, they got really dark on Degrassi. It was like yeah. Saved by the Bell, oh, but yeah. they went into like deep fucking yeah. there's a There's a fat girl on the show that starts dating like the freak nerd or whatever, and then he smashes her head into a fucking cinder block. And she's just, <laughs> what? She's just right on, he off realized, the show. Yeah, he just, <laughs> she's even he realized he was better than her. <laughs> <laughs> bounces her head off a curb, and then she's just her. She was top bill in the credits. She's just gone. They, they killed her, it. dude. And they, then the nerd they comes, killed her. The nerd comes back to shoot Drake in the stomach and paralyze him. <laughs> Drake was a, ca- a cast member. I right? know. I remember. And then he's in a wheelchair. Dude, pull up the Grassy's darkest moments. I bet you there's a compilation on there's, YouTube somewhere. There's, a, there's uh, the one of the freshman girls gets raped by a senior at a party. Yeah. And like, I think that episode ends with her being like, "No," you know. And then like later on in the <laughs> season. And it's her dealing with the rape. It's also 96, so the, yeah. the lesson yeah. is don't go to parties right. if you're a bitch. Yeah. Her friend, yeah, her friend is like, you know, like, Ashley, like, you were raped. And Calm she's like, down. And, then, <laughs> and then she goes, she goes, whatever, man. Yeah. She's, like, she's like, Liberty, I drank the punch. What do you expect? You know, and she's like, yeah, I guess you're right. This that's is just it. being that's written by the yeah, rape <laughs> storyline. Yeah, literally literally being written by rapists. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. I can't remember what happened, but that probably means I consented. Yeah. Like, I, she gets violently, wearing a skirt. Violently gang raped. And, and then she's like, you have to go to the police. And she's like, Sarah, it's Canada. Dude. And they're like, <laughs> they, oh, yeah, you're right. We love, love there's a show on love. Netflix called 13 Reasons Why, where the show's about a chick who kills herself and leaves tapes and telling all these people in the town yeah. why they contributed to her killing herself. Yeah. And you, in the beginning, it's like you were you weren't nice to me in homeroom. And then the end is just a brutal rape. It's like a horrible <laughs> brutal. Yeah. And that's somehow like on the level with all these other like yeah. one guy published a poem yeah. that she didn't want published. Oh, the rape the rape was the straw that broke the king's back. <laughs> yeah, but it's just like it's this crazy show. That's where like, like one of those joke Lewis should pitch this show ideas <laughs> right, that somehow right. actually got yeah. me. Yeah. yeah. She's like, I killed myself because, you know, you published that yeah. poem. and then uh, It's about some dumb bitch that killed herself. <laughs> yeah. And she leaves these videotapes. Not a real ass chick, if you ask me. Yeah. <laughs> the opposite of a real Can ass chick. Can you imagine chick. somebody saying, starting a video, that's a great podcast, by the way. I'm dead now. But yeah. listen, please subscribe. No, I want to do a post. Right, I'm I'm listening to this. I'm already this dead. <laughs> That'd be incredible, dude. Yeah, but they love dark shit with kids. And the kids all got to be very good looking. Very good looking kids killing themselves and each other. Yeah. Hollywood loves it. Yeah, can't I, get um, enough of it. Yeah, I can't. Um, that's it. That's it. I can't watch that at all. I watched one time. I remember I was in the gym. Yeah, just uh, getting changed. Like, sure. You know, after a workout. Because or you were homeless. <laughs> <laughs> I was in the gym showering because that's what you do. I just bought a fresh six pack of socks. <laughs> right, and you're I changing, was opening them. No, I was in the gym, and there was some sort of. It wasn't a crime scene reenactment show. It was one of those like court TV type shows <laughs> that was about a real death. That was right. about a, 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 an intruder came into this woman's house yeah. and murdered her children in front of her. Right. And they had the uh, the 911 call. But it was a real 911 call. Yeah. And this bitch was losing her mind, dude. Just fucking... Yeah. He's murdering my babies! Yeah. Dude, I'm in a fucking, like, a locker room. People are just putting their socks on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was the most bizarre thing. And I'm going, who was at home watching this going, this is entertaining. (laughs) I'm listening to a woman scream her brain, losing her mind because her babies were murdered in front of her. Right. By a giant black man, I'm right. assuming. And that's what keeps people in this country in line. You know? Yeah. Like, people watch that, they're like, well, that's why we work hard, so that we don't have our kids murdered in front of us in the home. It's yeah. crazy, dude. It's crazy. That's something that... that it's, well, dude, we used to watch Rescue 911. Me and my dad, all the time, would watch Rescue 911. It was the craziest show ever. Literally, Rescue 911 was Reno just 911? Like, no, like, Re- that's not the... <laughs> no, I loved Reno 911. Rescue 911 was literally like, somebody would electrocute themselves in a pool... And then they would just reenact it, and you would just see these accidents happen. And then, like, the ambulance, they would be like, stay on the phone with me. And the lady would be like, my son's in the pool. He's blue. He's dead. And the lady would be like, 
don't get off this phone. Don't. If you get off this phone, we're not even coming. Stay on the phone with me. And I'm like, what kind of show? Me and my dad watch it every it's week. It's so bizarre. Yeah. I also love being gifted to be an actor on a crime scene reenactment show. And yeah. you have, like, the family member that, like, they're consulting with on yeah. the side. And you're just fucking faking being electrocuted as yeah. a 14-year-old son. A, there's, this, yeah. there's this shitty uh, Baltimore comic that we kind of make fun of. This guy, Tim, Tom Myers, who's, like, just an insane person. Yeah. But he has an acting reel. And one of his roles was like in one of those reenactments on investigation discovery yeah. and so I like one of those shows it, but it's a non-speaking role so he's just you know he's dressed up as a priest and then his acting reel cuts to him going like just yeah. having a reaction shot I know that doesn't really translate for a podcast no, it's him making a stupid my roommate face. last night I go home my roommate's got a three camera set up and lights like big the expensive lights yeah, are like yeah. hot. I Tim, we are already making Seinfeld no, listen, in the apartment. I, I, dude, I come in. He's making an audition tape with his girlfriend, and his girlfriend's like taping it. They have a. He's like, and all you hear is this: like, I'm in, I'm in my room, just eating barbecue chicken pizza, and all you hear him say is, this, he goes, "I am a vampire. I have been alive for 300 years." And she's like feeding him lines, and it's like, oh, this is no way to live. <laughs> <laughs> this is really, this business is no way yeah, to live. Yeah, yeah. It's like, fuck that. I um I do you feel like an asshole. I went cuz I deleted a bunch of shit off my computer recently because I uh I oh shit I'm stupid. I shouldn't have deleted it. I have a bunch of like me just reading fucking like monologues and practicing for fucking like auditions and shit, like auditions on tape. What, what kind of auditions do you do? Cuz I only do, do commercial auditions. Usually big criminals. Um, no, a commercial I, like I shot. Star, a commercial I shot just fucking aired, and people messaging me. What's about the commercial? It. Somebody said for, something I, for IBM. Good for you. Who, what do you mean? Somebody said something. Somebody about tweeted me <laughs> and like talked to Nick about his IBM commercial. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Look yeah. at you, IBM, bro. Yeah, yeah. That's I thought happy. you mean somebody said something about it as if it was an issue. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Somebody was like, "Yeah, you know what, dude? Fuck that." Yeah. Pa- Patreon. They dropped you. Yeah, we, they did. My auditions are always the same thing. I walk in the room. I say hello to Sean Donnelly. I say hello to some of the faculty. You see me. We all walk in and we go like this. Hey, get out of there! Yeah. And Dude, like, I walked into it. I see. Recently. I see Sean at uh, yeah. voiceover. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I didn't have um, I didn't have my sides printed out, and I barely memorized it. It was close to memorized, but not really. I was yeah. very underprepared. So I walk in, and there's these two dudes, and I was like, "Oh shit, they don't have any sides on the table." Yeah. And they're like, "Like no." And the one guy, he he goes into his audition. He goes, "Here, dude, you can take mine." And, like, I just wanted to get the uh, the part so badly. Yeah. Just so he would have to deal with that, like, one day seeing me in the part. I didn't want yeah. the part. I just wanted his niceness to bite him in the ass. Also, actors are the shittiest, most vindictive, selfish fucking people. He pulled yeah. up the middle page. They're, they fucking suck, dude. Yeah. I go into these, like, commercial auditions. Give you the see them. script. Yeah. yeah, just around there, like, fucking, you know, they say hi to each other, but they, there's no actual emotion in the way they, they're mm. like, oh, my God, it's so good to see you. And yeah. it's like. If it was actually good to see somebody, you wouldn't say. And they that. always know you're not one of them. Yeah, right. Like they always know. Yeah. At least with me. It's also like kind of psychotic. If you, like, if and they also know that I'm not getting it. Yeah. I know I'm not getting it. Yeah. And the casting people know I'm not getting it. You're right. My favorite thing to do is when I'm when I'm sitting, you sit in that casting <laughs> office and they're all like going over their lines yeah. or whatever. To just sit and like. Like, you your phone and scratch yourself. And be, I just watch sm- Alex Jones very loud. That's all I yeah, do. I, I watch a- Infowars <laughs> very loud. And Alex Jones will be like, many of these immigrants are yeah. three times serial yeah, killers. Right, yeah. And they're in this country. And I'll just watch it. And <laughs> and right. Watch yeah. Infowars and uh, nod. Dude, I tell you, uh, one thing that's terrible about Mexicans is half of them are controlled by by OK Ultra. <laughs> they're at, they, 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 you think they're illegal immigrants? I'll tell you, every, every, every part of the government. Mom, Nick. Yeah, Dude, yeah. the funniest thing in the world is he comes oh, on hold last on. night. And he goes, <laughs> oh, give me a give second. Me a second. <laughs> he goes like this. He goes, good evening, everyone. The world has never been closer <laughs> to thermonuclear <laughs> war. <laughs> Dude, so I came out of an audition. I did the like literally what is considered the fucking hackiest thing you could do. Omar was there for. I just like maybe my third audition ever. Yeah. I come out. And there's like fucking eight people waiting. To, and I come out and I just go. I was like, "All right, boys, you can all go home. Oh. Got the part." Oh yeah. god! And it literally, I mean, I just watched yeah. eight people roll their eyes at me. Yeah. And that wasn't even an audition. That was a, a, a like a, a system manager of KFC <laughs> yeah, right. Right. position. It was it was to be the manager of a cosmic bowling. Yeah, so, yeah. right. And then he was like, he never had the call, and he said, I "Go home, be- folks. <laughs> Daddy's got it." Yeah. I um I want to talk about this really quick. Where you take the help wanted sign out of the window. That <laughs> <laughs> I think this is a uh, great. So there's this man. I guess uh, pull up the story on the big screen, Shannon. He's facing 15 years in jail. 
after he caught his wife in bed with another man. Here's what happened, right? I guess their their kids, like Pad, was missing. He couldn't find it. So he used the Find My Phone app, yeah. right? Pad's in the fucking car. This bitch is driving toward Rockland County, where I grew up, by the way. Yeah. Okay. And uh, he's like, why is she going to Rockland County? That's weird, right? She said she was doing this other shit. He's like, Su- what, suffer near? Where the fuck is this? So he goes up, right? Goes up to this fucking house. It ends up being her boss's house. The front door is open. He opens the door and he like films her for a second. And yeah. like is like, you know, what the fuck? What are you doing? They kind of have a couple moments where he's like, fuck you, bitch, whatever. He leaves. It is what it is, right? This bitch leaves him, and then they press charges on him for, like, burglary. And what's the actual 15 years? And I love how the, the actual New York Post article says, and now the cuck <laughs> hubby, they call him a cuck in an actual fucking... Yeah. I know that's literally what he is. Uh, local complete faggot. <laughs> <laughs> you see, like, the alt-right just getting their little, you know? They are influencing the culture a little bit, you know? Uh, the writer's like, listen, anybody could fuck this girl, right. this woman. This right. guy's a real bitch. So if you guys want to... Just sh- a white man in his homeland. Yeah, dude. So he pleaded guilty last month. He's due back in court September 20th. He commits a trespass. This is his lawyer says. Uh, he commits a trespass that in a same jurisdiction is a violation and not a crime. And he uncovers the greater evil of his wife screwing some stranger. First of all, what type of, yeah, what lawyers, kind of lawyers are screwing like some this? Sh- yeah. Fucking Greenberg. <laughs> right. I tell you, we, we this guy. He goes and he sees his wife fucking this some whore. other guy. That's who, that's who, right, boy, what kind of piece of shit justice is there? There are <laughs> lawyers like that, though. There are lawyers when you see, like, these lawyers where, like, they're just, they, they, they put on this, like, street affectation. They're trying to do, like, a cool teacher yeah, thing. It's like, like, they're like, what the hell is this? And they always yeah. just come out, like, Sean Penn and Carlito's way. <laughs> and they're fucking, uh, I'm a gangster. Yeah, yeah I mean, you, you can't, I don't want to see my lawyer in jeans. Yeah. Like I don't want to like yeah. Look, I I, I in my I don't ever I never want to wear pants again. I wore pants with Joe was sweating. Yeah, and I was gonna wear jeans, and my chick got so mad at me. She was right. like, "You're not right. wearing." Right, so you know. Mm-hmm. But it, how many people were wearing jeans at that fucking wedding? I don't know. A lot. Okay. A I lot. Wear tap out board shorts yeah, yeah. <laughs> to Joe's <laughs> wedding. It's okay. Me and Joe are friends. <laughs> Shan, can I grab a little more coffee, babe? Thanks. And a water. Um. Thank you. S- so yeah, I don't really ever want to wear, I, I, but that's the thing you don't you don't want a lawyer I that's trying to be fucking also. cool. Thanks. Um, but you know what it is? It's a sales thing too. Lawyers. When I had a friend who was arrested recently, yeah. I can't talk about the, the specifics, okay. but everybody was arrested. Dave Smith masturbating, and we uh, we have right. So we <laughs> we got it. You know, we were getting him a lawyer. He was like literally in a fucking jail cell. Right. You know, we had to get him a lawyer. And I was like interviewing lawyers, basically. <laughs> yeah. And there was lawyers. It, it, they're all selling, dude. It's, it's literally a sale on the phone, right? Yeah. And in sales, there's a technique. You know, this. you mirror and match. Yeah. So, you, like, if you have a fucking bro in front of you and you're trying to sell them, you yeah. kind of come to their level. I got yelled at at the car dealership for doing that. Like, black guys would call in. They yeah. played recordings of me when black guys called <laughs> And they'd be like... They'd be like, what kind of navigators you got? I'm like, man, I got all the navigators. You know? And they'd be like, well, you can't talk to black people that Yo, way. Yo, you want I'm NOS? Like, you, you, want, want NOS you want the kid? fucking money or not? Are you kidding? Though? Did it's you actually like, get in trouble for that? Kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. They got. played reco- the recording yeah. of me talking to a black Dude, guy. you could fucking like, get that recording, yeah, it would be the greatest thing in the world. Of course. I know. I know. That's incredible, I also though. left on bad it's terms like here. Somebody calls up and they're like, hey, I'm just looking at cars. Nick's like, where are you going, motherfucker? Nick's like, I sold that person four cars. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for calling Hood ass a car dealership and they're like, Not the I'm like this is so oh, I'm, I'm sorry I got the, the wrong uh, I thought you lived in a different neighborhood and then like a Jewish guy would call I'd be like oh hi yeah. are you people coming in for a car yeah. well maybe yeah. I don't know I'm really annoying so uh. what were these lawyers how are these lawyers <laughs> me- how are these lawyers mirroring and matching you? Yeah, like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you would like you would almost because I have like a bro type of fucking tone yeah. to me. My therapist did that too. My therapist, the first but time... But they also know that you're like a, a guy that's... I, I feel like if I was your lawyer, I'd pitch you. I'd be like, first of all, this is going to be big. Number one. <laughs> News? Forget it. Every night, we're on. Hashtag, start getting it trending. We frame it as a libertarian thing. Listen, I... um No, the lawyers would do this too. They would start talking to me almost like me. 
my my therapist did this with me. I remember that when I first talked to him, um, he was just like whatever, and then we got deeper into the conversation. And I remember he threw like he cursed. Yeah, and because I've done sales, I recognized the moment where I was like, "Oh, this motherfucker is." Oh, he's lowering the class of person. He <laughs> yes, he is to deal with. Me. So <laughs> I see what's happening here. He's lowering himself to me. So what I'm fucking saying, yeah. Lewis. You know, <laughs> the same the pay same me lawyer. my fucking money that you yeah, owe me. Yeah. It's been a yeah. month. The same lawyer is always like, yo, Lewis, why don't you hold on for a sec? I got a call online, too. Uh, good evening, Mr. Mbuto. <laughs> it is very good to do business with you today. It is a bright morning. Uh, perhaps you will enjoy it by eating an albino. Yes. <laughs> but, but, you, we have you, improved oh, the license. Oh, oh, hold on one second. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Gomez, yeah. I'm a real ass dude, real ass dude. He just plays music beds every time he comes back on the phone yeah. with me. That's so funny. There are still, like, cannibal, like, uh, like, cultures right like in like yeah. fucking africa mm-hmm. yeah and alabama like... mississippi yeah. <laughs> do you th- you know man i love like i'm, I'm watching show Ozark you on human? netflix which is fun i mean give me the give me the uh circumstances circumstances this you it's go it's a new dish at fridays yes <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. michelle went and takes you to a new restaurant it's all the cool kids are going there yeah no like uh, let's say you go to let's say you take a trip yeah to africa sure okay to do not africa because i assume everything has aids in it yeah okay well, let's say you take a trip to some other like exotic place in like europe right and they're like oh we're doing this thing where like it's completely legal we're serving human meat i mean it's a huge delicacy is everyone else doing it <laughs> yeah no, Rez, reza aslan did that he fucking ate some guy's brain on cnn yeah. Wait, what? A guy's kind of... Pull that up right now. What? Yeah, he ate some guy's brain on CNN and he caught flack for it because he was, like, hanging out with some tribe. Because he's a zombie? Yeah, yeah. He should catch flack for that. Yeah, and then he goes on politically incorrect and, he, like, wants to make, like, rational points. Like, <laughs> well, yeah, is that yeah, the guy And then that... he goes, this is the problem. Yeah. There's no, no the such thing right? as a Muslim terrorist. Yeah, There's yeah. A brain coming out <laughs> yeah, of his mouth. Yeah. <laughs> All these guys who make rational points, and then the next week they're like, and I have a new show coming out where we eat children, so <laughs> like, follow me on Twitter. It's like, yeah. This guy should never be trusted yeah. ever again. Like 9-11 literally did not happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Would, I, would I try a human? I mean, why not? Like pigtail. Hanging out yeah, dude, this is, is this not. the guy that made the weed? Like a few years ago, he made that weed documentary where it was like, for like CNN. That's me at Red Lobster. <laughs> this for, is the first for Red Lobster. Fest. Right now and then... Yeah, you're gonna trust that guy, right? Yeah. Right. Man, hard, hard to be hard to see how white supremacists got any yeah. ideas when you, you watch this. If he thinks this is all serious and this is just the Aboriginal version of like the Halloween, like and these were his eyeballs. Yeah, 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 yeah right. He's just eating grapes so, and fucking a, custard. Like, yeah. What's well, even house. better if this is just some sort of weird prank show? Like in their culture, the they make said, you eat we, human brains. That's, yeah, that's, that's, should that's, we eat the living? That's Aboriginal Ashton Kutcher. <laughs> oh, shall I show you eating my own flesh? <laughs> Interesting. Oh, shit. Should we eat the living flesh? I see. Um, why? Why do? I will cut off your head if you keep talking so much. That I agree with. I would. I would fucking throw Rest shit at that guy. It's like, show me one Muslim that's ever <laughs> that's ever done a terrorist attack. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? This may have been a mistake. I feel like this I've, This guy just threatened to eat me. Yeah. This might have been a mistake. Whereas as like, I would be a lot more worried if he were white. I gotta be honest. Alright, so just... Look, I am eating. What is he eating? A human brain. No, he's not. Yeah. Dude, shut the fuck up. Wow. What if it's like Adderall? Start <laughs> grinding your teeth? What show was this? Like, what was the point? Woke of the as sh- fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want to be woke? You got to start eating brain. I mean, that's fucking, that's bananas right there. It's crazy. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm, here's the thing. In that moment. All right. Right there. That. Yeah. Tim, you get booked on a show where you go around the world doing you, right? You're sure. like, like you, we want Tim, your perspective on everything. Like, yeah. you fucking. And the, my that character guy would there. eat a brain, though. Like, I'd have yeah. to explain to my audience why I didn't eat the brain. I get flack for not eating the brain. I think you'd have to try it. You would have you try, to try it? it? If you're in no. that exact scenario, you wouldn't just a little tiny piece of fucking brain, like a little nubbin. Because here's the thing: that somebody had to have murdered that human being. Well, here's the other thing. Here's what I would no. think about: yes. what if they died of natural causes? Dude, they're not eating a brain of someone that died of natural causes. First of all, know. then that then that's just like 
something that died on that? Like, it, how that do you know? No, that's gross. Would you eat a fucking cow that just? Yeah, how do you know? What if they took the woman who got hit by the Dodge Charger and they were like, "She's dead already." Here's no, her brain. I'm not going to no, be I'm like, gonna eat that. It, 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 like a participant in in like desecrating that woman's body. Well, all right. What if they gave you another ten thousand subscribers to your Patreon? Of course. <laughs> Here's the thing, too. you got to be like, is it cooked? You didn't say there was money involved. <laughs> it's 10,000 more subscribers, yeah. but you got to do it on a premium episode of Come Down. I love how you Money like, talks. You're like, would you eat a brain? No. What about money if it talks? was in... Yeah. Money what a, eats. What about if the brain was in ice cream? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Would you eat a brain? No. With mozzarella cheese melted on it. Sure. <laughs> Brain sandwich. <laughs> Just add one thing. Right. Brain. No. Hot sauce and brain. They invented a new type of spoon only for eating brain. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. Shannon, I don't know what happened to my phone. We've got to do these questions before we get out of here. So can you describe me my phone really quick? I hope um, all these questions are like very intellectual. And Lewis like, I don't even know my audience. They're yeah, like, yeah. in a pre- impeachment, what is the procedural? <laughs> I um, Is that it? No, no. No. I think it's that in the other room. It's all good. Yeah, I think that I would probably try something like that. I, try, I, I tried a, uh, in a chocolate-covered ant once. That, like, fucked up. That was a long... Like, I looked at it like I was about to go skydiving. Yeah, really? I would eat an ant immediately. Yeah, dude, come on. Don't be First of all, it's got chocolate on it, so... And the ant's so small, you wouldn't even be able to tell the difference between that and a chocolate-covered That would literally be the healthiest thing I've ever eaten. Yeah. <laughs> If I had like I would, a chocolate I would, covered you know what, like honestly, rice. Like chocolate covered if, rice. Yeah. if I knew how to cook them, I would go on an all-bug diet. Those and shits are high in protein. Yeah. They're really good for you. You look like you're on an all-bug diet. I am. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the best restaurant in the world. Yeah. Picking bug legs one, out of his teeth. One of the highest fresh, rated restaurants in the world in uh, Copenhagen, it's Noma, they use ants and salt as like a salt. Yeah. You use like ants is like it's interesting. Yeah, and that's how right. you get around health code violations. Right. Yeah, you I gotta would. check out this place in Chinatown, Ant and Rat. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, Ant and Rat. Uh All right, let's get some of these questions out of the way. Let's do it. Give me a fucking answer. Give me give me give me a fucking answer. Give me a fucking answer. Give me give me give me, give me a fucking answer. I'm asking you for the answer. It's a question. You know what the fuck is up. Real ass questions. Always end the show with it. No longer on Facebook, guys. Only on my Instagram story or my email. GomezComedy.com. Go to the contact page. You can submit a question right through there. Make sure you put real ass questions in the subject line. Every Monday and Wednesday, we will answer your questions as honest as possible. Uh, all right, real quick. T Feast wants to know what are your shits like on an at- and an all Atkins diet without fiber? It's got to be a real struggle to push it out. Does your stomach ever feel messed up? Uh, me personally, no. I mean, I, I think I get a decent amount of fiber. I eat a lot of spinach, eat a lot of nuts. Um, you know, so I don't really have trouble shitting. My stomach feels messed up, and I don't know. I'm sure there's some science to this. When I eat sugar or bread now, because I take off for long periods of time, and then if I have a day where I have like a cheat day. For two days afterwards, I'm shitting like crazy. I feel when I shit after I have a cheat day, it keeps on coming out and it comes out of the toilet. Yeah. Like it's just like a mountain of shit that comes out. When I shit, it's like a pioneer woman giving birth. <laughs> like they just chain her to the bed and she's just <laughs> screaming. They keep dumping like the, the barrels of water on her face. Yeah. And she just calls out for God that isn't there. I eat caterpillars <laughs> and shit butterflies. <laughs> Thanks for these. These are. I guess he's right about the audience. It's like, oh yeah, they don't want yeah. politics. How do you go to the bathroom? <laughs> What's your shit, Lewis? Like? Can you tell me how to go to the bathroom? I won't be like you. Go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> how do I go to the bathroom? I'm t- I've been trying, man. But it's fucking too hard. Oh. All right. Uh, <laughs> it's it unrelated. I was. I woke up this morning laughing about the idea of like Larry the Cable Guy changing his catchphrase to "I fucking love science." <laughs> <laughs> Instead of get her done, I will tell you what, bro. I, I fucking love science. <laughs> that's what it, that right there. Uh, that's fucking science. I love science. <laughs> Equinixian wants to know why do fat people hate the summer so much? I've been both fat and shredded, but Tim, I'll let you answer this first. Like. I don't really hate the summer. I think I'll just say this: fat people. Don't want aren't aren't like in great shape, so you're not walking around on the beach. But I think that's changing because now you go to the beach, it's like sixty percent of people are fat. I think. Well, here's the thing: fat, you get hot, you sweat. So it, and and here's the thing: people are wearing less clothing, so the fatter you are, yeah. obviously, like like that, like the for a person not to insult this person, 
But for a person to not know yeah, why not a fat deduce. person wouldn't like the summer <laughs> yeah. is like worse yeah. than how do I shit? How come fat people need bigger pants? <laughs> why don't fat people like the oven? And how do I poop? Uh, well, here's the thing. Let me say this, okay? Because I've been both shredded. You know who fat. also hates the summer? Poor people. Because if no, you're they poor, have to they have to love the summer. You don't have air conditioning. They, it, well, here's mm-hmm. the thing: you don't have air conditioning. And it's like you're not you're, in the pool. You're bombarded uh, on Instagram. I have a joke about it. About like, there's never an easier time to see who's rich and who's not than the summer. Like, you're fu- Like, you could see who's fucked. Like, if you're if you have shit going on in the summer, it's like jet skis and boats and Hamptons and shit. And if you don't, if you're poor, it's like it's like it's just pictures of French fries and yeah. memes, religious yeah. images. It's like a bad scene. Yeah, the two for one. Uh, the two for one. Sundays, right? Like fucking Carvel. You're yeah. like, look, look, right. everyone. Yeah, I, lo- well, I like, cream. I like yeah, you. Love, nice. You would stop there on the way to the nice. desk. Uh, look, I've been tried it before, and I'll tell you right now. It's the sweating, right? When you're fat, you walk up, you're uphill, up the stairs. New York City specifically, there's like a, a smug smogginess to the air, right? It's the humidity, but smug when smog you're humidity. when you're in when you're in shape, which yeah. I am now, dude, and yeah. I skateboard everywhere, right? That that glistening. It's hot. It's just like, yeah, are you, it's almost like you let everyone know, like, I'm fucking working. I used I'm to, ready to fuck. Yeah. yeah. I used to hate you know? the summer yeah. when I was, like, 18, 17, 18. I was, like, I was always at my, like, ex-girlfriend's place. Yeah. And you just get drunk off, like, Di Serono all night and wake up with the worst fucking hangover <laughs> yeah. in the world. Di Yeah. It was, it was terrible. Pour me another Di. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had one night. It was the only thing around. I mean, I was 17. I no, couldn't no, get I out of it. Yeah, you drink I, fucking, I drank an entire bottle of Di Serono, and I was having to chase it with Jack Daniels because the taste of yes, it was so yeah. fucking. I got, I drank. I, it was one night I was blackout drunk, and I was just drinking grenadine. Yeah. Because I thought it was like a cannoli in a gas can. <laughs> yeah. That's what it tastes yeah, it's like. It's fucking you know? disgusting. It's really bad. And I, yeah, I would have the worst hangovers, and I fucking just hated the summer because I was like yeah. fat and it was disgusting. <laughs> but then uh, after living in like Texas for a while, where it hits the summertime and it's like it's a hundred degrees and it's not going to be lower than a hundred degrees for another sixty days. You get used to it, even at night. Yeah, you just kind of enjoy being yeah, it's disgusting. Hot. Yeah, sweaty I used to love. I used mess. to love the summer because I and I and I still don't mind it, but I used to love because it, it was dry. So when I was a kid, yeah. from like you know sixteen to twenty five, you gotta wait till the weekend. You gotta wait till night. I mean, it's just drugs all the time. Summer drugs. It's like oh, you will like, you want to shroom out at ten a.m. Yeah, that was like the day. Yeah, of course. Oh, so that, yeah. I love this. Well, that's the thing. Fun people love the summer, right? This you know yeah. you know what? Want to know who the most fucking boring people in the world are? People who go, ah, eh, you know, I don't like it too hot, too cold. I like the spring and the fall in, in New York. I yeah. love the fall. I mean, the fall's great. We all love the fall. Everybody does. Of course you love the fucking fall. Those are the people who say Nazis are bad. No right. shit, dummy. Of dummies. course, yeah. Okay? We're talking about extremes here, okay? It's the fucking summer or the winter. If you're picking one, you know who likes the winter? Fat, depressing people. Ugly yeah. chicks that can cover their bodies and kind of look okay. Yeah. And fucking be like, oh, look, hey, look, everyone kind of looks gross. But then in the there's winter. also people that go skiing, and there's a whole winter sports thing that you're kind of discounting here, too. There are dudes who love going skiing and snowboarding, going Aspen. Nothing, Stop naming I, your, I, your I, fantasy dudes. You're just naming yeah. the type of guys you're attracted to. I'm not. I'm just saying there's some guys that come through. on themselves in Aspen <laughs> and need someone to eat it. <laughs> I'm not name, I'm not talking about my fantasies, but there's some guys with like a size 12 yeah. foot, and it's yeah. just a beautiful foot. Anyway, keep going. Yeah. Like hair on the chest, but not too much hair. There's some like slopes. Yeah, you know, it's just enough. Yeah, where yeah. the chairlift goes directly into your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Tim is just sitting, yeah. kneeling at the bottom of a hill, yeah. and this dude's skiing yeah. with their dicks it's out. Just like, trying I'm just ski. saying, it's like, <laughs> trying to get away, yeah. and they can't. Yeah. No, yeah, it covers yeah. the whole mountain. Yeah. <laughs> some people like the winter because you feel the fire on your face as you're being plowed by yeah. an anonymous guy. You don't know who's in you. Anyway, I'm just saying the winter's got positive. Tim fucking built an igloo with a glory hole. <laughs> um, all right, let's fucking go. This is a good one, man. As always, love having both you guys on. Thank Tim you. Dillon, Tim J. Dillon on Twitter, Nick Mullen on Twitter. Nick, do you use your Twitter? I'm banned from Twitter. You're banned from I'm banned from every social media. I'm locked out of my account. Like, every white though. supremacist is on it. He's somehow banned. It's yeah. crazy. That's what and happens. Instagram, you're not banned from. When now. you're a real contrarian, when you're a real you know, guy that yeah. knows how to piss everyone off and not have any consistent opinions or logic, <laughs> that's <laughs> when that's being a real bad boy. But it's yeah. welcomed on Instagram. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, I'm yeah. fine on Instagram. Yeah, they don't Because my Instagram's all like, you know. What? That's yeah. about to, the music is about to end. Oh. You're about to go to another store. Goodbye. You're see your yeah. Headphones. Goodbye. Peace. We're out.
to the end of it. And that's all, folks.